Hey, good evening. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another live game of Warhamster 40k 10th edition. And there's some murder clowns on the table for the first time in 10th edition, Mr. DJ. I know. You fancied more of the elf variety. You were like, they're toilet. And I was like, challenge accepted. I mean, I don't... I'm not sure if they're toilet toilet, but they're definitely I, more toilet than standard elf. They did not receive the, the greatest round of applause when they released the index, was it? No. It, Harlequin's players were like, oh... Yeah, but all Harlequin's players also had a bit of a bit of a time of it in ninth edition. Yeah, Gage like, Urchin was like, "You've had your chance." That was the full clown lol. Yeah. Like, I'm going to turn up my murder elves, and you're going to absolutely get obliterated no matter what you do. Yeah, yeah they had their time, um, unless you're Brom. Yeah, and when you take, in which case you took that unedited version of Harlequin's to a GT and went one and four. Um, so they weren't that broken. Uh, anyway, we have murder clown. Joe's come back with some more elves. He wants to play murder clowns. Yeah. It's a narrative uh, Harlequin's army, though. We'll talk about that when we go through the army lists. <laughs> and I am currently, like, up here at the moment with World Eaters and Dark Angels. Yeah. So I'm being really boring, chat. I'm bringing World Eaters again, because I want to, quite honestly. If you don't like it, you. fuck off. Tough. You're Billy Piper now, aren't you? Have fun, yeah. Mm. Exactly. So thank you for joining us tonight. I hope you're all having a great start to your week. Right there. The tape measure is in front of you. It's irking me. What we are also doing is we're playing over this glorious board of terrain, which is, with the exception of the containers and the trees, primarily from Laser Cut Architect. Now, this isn't a sponsored episode. This isn't a, a push for his Kickstarter exclamation mark LCA. Um, we are using the Kickstarter stuff. This big hangar at the back here, these ruins at the front are from the Kickstarter, and this stuff is from his previous Yeah, range. this is the Hyperion defense line, which you can get from... Dark Ops, which is like an extension of Sarissa. Yeah. yeah. So Daryl didn't know until earlier that we were going to be using this stuff today. But this is what happens when you take his old stuff and his new stuff and you put it together. Yeah. It's only different colours because the clown Daryl painted it different colours. Mm. Yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to think of an excuse. <laughs> Abandon me. But like, it's all, it's all, um, it's all interactive. So adaptive, adaptive. That's the word. Um, <laughs> so you can literally attach the corridors to all the different sets. So basically, uh, and it's also got the isolated outpost, which we've got a full set of, but I still haven't got around to painting it yet. <laughs> and when I do, um, th then we can show you how you can. Basically, there's a door on the back of here, which you can connect to another section, which then has doors off. So you could make an entire com like building complex. That's connected by tunnels and stuff, and almost play Space Hulk essentially. Yeah. So, well, yeah. the Kickstarter was the sponsor of the episode last Thursday. Uh, his target was seven hundred fifty pounds. Smashed through that during the stream. His secret target that he told no one was actually around the two thousand pounds mark. About fifty quid short right now. Yeah. Exclamation mark LCA if you want some cool MDF terrain. First word of warning, it doesn't come pre-painted, you will have to paint it yourself. Yeah. The key words Daryl likes to use is immersive and adaptive, and we have definitely found here that it fits both of those words perfectly. Yeah. We actually love it. Daryl's a friend of the channels anyway, but he, I made him come and pitch his terrain to us before we showed it off, and it is glorious stuff, yeah. right? He doesn't know I'm doing this today, exclamation mark LCA. The Kickstarter is still live for another week from today. Yeah. But one more week to get your orders in, okay? And another fun fact. Very excited when his Kickstarter nearly hit £2,000 until his gearbox and his car blew up. Yeah. So he really needs to kickstart money right now. <laughs> yeah. Here's the Finstones it with his feet yeah. through the bottom. His little feet he's at the bottom. Like, yeah. Ooh, that's how he's going to get all the way down here to pick it up. Yeah. Anywho, that's just a quick aside. Thank you for joining us. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash all of those magical YouTube buttons for us. Hit that like button if you enjoy the stream. Smash subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell notification icon if you want to be notified every single time we go live or drop a new video. Alternatively, you can be in the Great Hall Discord server, exclamation mark Discord. And if you are a member, you will get notified every single time we go live or drop a new video by uh, our bots in the Discord server. If you pick the right reaction role, someone messaged me the other day, I don't get notified, but you have to click on the little reaction role. I don't want to spam people if they don't want to see the, the notifications. Yep. So in there you can react to 40k squad if you want to be notified every single time a 40k video goes live, and you can react to gaming squad if you want to be notified every single time a gaming stream goes live. And that bot is significantly more efficient at letting you know than YouTube is at letting you know that we go live. I had a person the other day who literally messaged me and went, YouTube notified me 10 minutes before the end of a game stream that you were live via oh. email. Great. Good. Okay. So that's how you can do 
that. You can click that bell or you can become a member. Exclamation mark member in the chat if you want to become a member. A week on Monday, we're launching our first ever pre-recorded podcast video new series thing from here. We've thing. done that kind of shit in the past, a long, long time ago. We're relaunching that with guests. It won't be weekly at the moment because we're slowly getting guests in. Uh, it'll be sporadic. Members only will get access for five days before we put it out to the general public. So if you are not general public, don't pa- if you're not general public, if you're not members, don't panic. You will get to see that video and listen. It's going to be about two hours long, Joe. It's yeah. a big old chat me and James had from Seeds. Good thing I wasn't here. Yeah, it's, it's a, a beast longer. actually, but I'm enjoying editing it right now. When it does go out to the general public, we're also going to be putting it on all the podcast applications to so Spotify, iTunes, all those kinds of things. So if you can't sit and watch it on YouTube or you don't have YouTube Premium where you can shut the app and still listen, you better listen to it on your podcast apps of choice. There we go. You can also send us big, giant, colourful postcards if you want to via Super Chats, or if you're watching on demand, you can do it via Super Thanks. Yeah. I have to mention the Super Thanks, otherwise I get told off by Mr. The Joseph Sensen. As I think. Yeah. Lots of ways of supporting us, you beautiful humans. Talking about supporting us, you can also support the companies that support us. We've got two main channel sponsors. We've mentioned sort of the first one, the incredible team at Seed Studios who paid the channel Thousand Sons and the Black Templars. I have Wave 2 here. I might do a little video about that behind the scenes for her skulls and above soon Ooh. to show them off. But I do have to wait till I get some more stuff sent off to Siege and Painted to get it to 2,000 points. But I think we can do that with a few tanks, so maybe it won't take so long. Yeah. Uh, and a big shout out to the main channel sponsors, Element Games, Exclamation mark element or siege in the chat if you want the links right now if you're watching live or check out the links in the video description below if you're watching on demand. If you do use the element one, it drops a cookie in your browser to tell them that you came from us. And if you make any purchase within 30 days of clicking that link, as long as you click no one else's link, we get a 5% kickback for all of the purchases that you make. Yeah. It's really important. It actually really supports us. Just by you buying your plastic through element, it helps us out. Sorry if you're in America, you can't use it for 40k. Boom. Because Games Workshop retail rules. It's not Elements' fault. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Race three sponsors. Seven minutes done. Done. Tonight we are playing a Strike Force game of Warhamster 40k 10th edition. We are having tons of fun right now. Mm. Uh, Joe decided tonight we're going to pick some missions that fit the battle grid. Yeah, I kind of built the table. I was like, well, how much terrain has he given me? And then I built a wall. Yep. <laughs> Call me Trump. And then um, <laughs> I built a wall. And then, Same body um, shape. and then, um, and then I put the the Kickstarter stuff on, and then I was like, "Shit, no missions are going to fit this." So I just chose the mission to fit around the terrain that I did. Proof but, that with Leviathan, you don't just have to randomly draw cards. Yeah, I also went. I'm picking this deployment, but I'm flipping it, reversing it, flip it and reverse it like the song, because. Um, the deployment made sense, but it would have gone across here. Yeah, yeah. I thought if I reverse it, that goes perfectly with the building. Talking of which, he doesn't know I'm going to say this, but I have thought about Joe and I building a little PDF booklet of pre-made Leviathan missions with a narrative to it that we yeah. can release to people in the Discord. I, yeah, I, I think we should draw like little hand, hand-drawn pictures. I think it would suit AOS better because it would fit the n- narrative of hand-drawn, but you could draw the map out. It's like, here it is, and here is a suggestion of the terrain, like a big wall. Or we don't, a church. It's twenty twenty. We don't have to hand draw it. Can we, can, can we do it in in Microsoft Paint and then and then and then put a filter on it that makes it look hand drawn. We might do that for Discord anyway, chat. So you guys get some cool custom narrative missions that you can play your games of forty k rather than having to just randomly draw or play the tournament pack. But we do have a mission tonight, and it looks like this. Good evening, everyone. Tonight the deployment is Crucible of Battle. Our primary mission tonight is Vital Ground, and it is remove the center objective. At the end of the command phase, each player scores two points for each objective in their deployment zone. Five points for each objective in no man's land, and six for each objective in their opponent's deployment. The mission rule today is chosen battlefield, which is as follows. Players take turns placing the objective markers on the battlefield, starting with the player that wins the roll-off. One objective must be placed wholly within each deployment zone, and the remaining placed in no man's land. Objective markers must be placed more than six inches away from any battlefield edge and more than nine inches away from all other objective markers. See, so what? That made complete narrative sense when I read them the first time. Until you realised it's removed the centre one. Yeah, but what I you, think I knew that, but I still put it on. What you didn't see behind the mission screen, when I, because I didn't know what the missions were that he picked, is me lean over and pick up the middle objective marker. Because I read it, and I was like, <laughs> I've, got two, I've got two entrances slash exits here, and, and we can fight over those holes. And then we can leave, take off the middle one because there's no point going over there. Yeah. Yeah. And exit out is your yeah. also always an entrance, Jay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, so we have uh, moved our objectives around. I have one inside this hangar right here being guarded by some um, some what it's called, it's jackals. Yeah. We've got one at each of these entrance points to the defence line, and Joe's is over there somewhere. Well, it's in yours? this ruin. In the ruin over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have a cornate fortress guarded by the World Eaters, and the Harlequins, for reasons unbeknownst, have decided that they need to strike this fortress. Well, in my head, I was like, it's an imperial fortress that the World Eaters have taken over. And then the Eldar's like, Oi, you, nah. Maybe I won't get him to help with the narrative. There's books over there. <laughs> Love books. <laughs> Coming to get him. So we are running a strike force game. We have two detachments for you tonight, starting with the World Eaters that look like this. It's another Berserker Warband. That's all we have access to in the Codex right now. But I've done something fancy, Joe. Yeah. I haven't taken a Primarch. Oh. When you said you were bringing Harlequins, I was mildly concerned knowing the Harlequins that we had with your ability to pull down a Primark, you probably could, but I wanted to try a, a, something maybe, a little bit different. Maybe, well, he can't be everywhere, can he? So we have a Demon Prince on foot who has the Helm of Brazen Ire. That basically means he halves all damage as a relic. Like. I'm not going to call it an answer, it's a relic. I have Khan the Betrayer with five of the finest Berserkers, Lord Invocatus with six eight bound, and Master of Executions with the Berserker Glaive with five more Berserkers. I then have a further ten Berserkers broken into two units of five for four units of five in total. A unit of ten Jackals for my home objective. Two units of three eight bound, only six with Lord Invocatus, the units of the units of three. A unit of five Terminators that will start the game in Deep Strike Reserve, and two of the finest Rhinos. Oh. My World Eaters Berserker Warband trait allows me to get plus one attack, um, plus one strength on the charge. And I also have Blessings of the Blood God, which I think is my army rule. Have I got that the right round? Yeah, Relentless Rage is the, uh, is the detachment rule, which basically means at the start of each battle round, I roll 86. Yeah. And I get to pick a bunch of things depending on what I roll. Yeah. So I have things like Advance and Charge, Feel No Pain, Exploding Sixes to Hit, Lethal Hits, those sorts of things are things I can do. Lethal. Lethals, right? Mm. That's my army rule, my detachment rule. I am giving you an advantage here, I reckon, because I am 20 points shy of an actual full strike force. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. I so was going to be 43 three and a half points. <laughs> no, 42 and a half points. I don't know how, you, how can you be a half point? Because it's because it's 95 the, for the two. But I didn't do it at the end. How's that, There's how's a story that, here. How's that a half point, though? No, because it's so 95. Bikes, bikes are 95 for two bikes. But we have four bikes, four bikes, and we only have three bikes from a previous edition. I see. So he was just going to pay the points for one bike, despite the fact that you can't do that, and be 43 and a half points short. Oh, no, 47. 45 plus 45 is 90. 47 I, I don't understand. Nine. What I'm facing up against tonight is some murder. Like I said in the video description, there's some clowns tonight. And one of them's leading the Harlequins. They look like this. <laughs> so, leading my super narrative army <laughs> is not Eldred Ulfwan for a very good reason. He's here because um, our army that used to be more than 2,000 points is now less than 2,000 points. I forgot the tee off of his name. Uh, it should be Ulthran. 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 <laughs> he's, a, he's a Viking now. Yeah. Um, basically, he's in my list now because narrative. Because they used to, because basically he used to defend the Black Library with the Harlequins from the Thousand Sons. And they're like, they're doing a good old fashioned team up now. He also did a lot of work with the Harlequins at the birth of Unid as well. So yeah. Anyway, so it's, just, it's just chilling with him. You're fine. Right? This is a historical narrative game. We'll allow it, Joe. We'll allow yeah. it. Uh, I've got a Death Jester. I've got a Solitaire. I've got a Troop Master who is my Warlord. I have to make him my Warlord because then he makes troops battle line, which is important because I've got much more than three. So I've got a troop master, and he's with five troops and a star weaver. I've got another troop master with a unit of five troops and another star weaver. I've got three more troops, all in their own star weavers. Yep. And then I've got three units of sky weavers, two of four and one of two. And then I've got two void weavers. My... I want to say Shadow Seer has got an enhancement. Yeah. It has to be a, it has to be a Psyker. Uh, when her unit kills a unit, I then get a dice. Oh, I don't think I put her on the board. I think I might have missed a Shadow Seer. She's supposed to be a unit. Of she troops, is in there. She? She's yeah, in there okay. with a unit. Yeah. That's one. Um, yeah. So I've got a Shadow Seer in there as well. Basically, if I'd had one more bike, um, then I wouldn't have needed needed Eldred. Yeah. Um, but we've got one bike with no base for some reason. 
The problem as well with the Harlequins is they are painted prettier than either of us can paint, so... Yeah, hard I had a Harlequins army in near enough the same colour scheme, not as well painted. Yeah, big shout out to Sean who painted the Harlequins, he's a friend of mine. He needs to do us more. Uh, he has said that in the future he's willing to, Yeah, but I don't know when that is. Or if we just take some boxes, he had like, throw them at his face he had like, until he He, he had like university or something and he was very busy so I didn't <sighs> want to... What did you, you get from university, honestly? Yeah. Crippling debt. Nothing has ever been useful to you, AJ. <laughs> no. That's our two strike force attachments. Joe obviously has the Eldar... Right. Chat. Joe has the Eldar rules. Unparalleled mastery and fate dice. So fate dice has now been significantly restricted. He'll get just the base six dice plus three because Eldrad's here up to nine. He rolls them off. If he doesn't like them, he can drop one out, roll them again. Doesn't like one, drop one out, roll them again all the way down until he's got a result he's happy with. He has that ball of dice. He has access to that ball of dice. All through the game, you can use one per phase for a hit roll, a wound roll, a yeah. damage roll, etc. right? There's a bunch of things you can use it for. Advance, charge, and there's one other which I can't remember. Um... He also has the unparalleled mastery detachment ability, which he's done. And both of these things, both of these things, chat, he's done nothing but moan about what's being on the receiving end of. So I'm really excited to see how excited I, he gets tonight being able to use them. I think it'll be different because I'm not using broken units. So the unparalleled mastery allows him to reroll a hit and a wound roll per unit per phase, which is really good. Mm. Part of what I think is making Craft World Elder stupidly broken, despite the, fact that's, Craft World Elder. despite the fact that's one of the things they haven't touched yet. Mm. I think instead of keep hitting Fate Dice, they should probably just hit that ability. My it should opinion. have been a hit or a wound. Yes, agree. Both. Strong yeah. agree. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, but he's going to get to use it tonight, and I'm really excited to see how excited he gets using these rules, now not being on the receiving end I don't often. have Guide or Fortune. I've got Doom, because Eldrad gives me that. Um, Doom is, in this list, Fortune doesn't help you. No. In this list. Guide probably helps you a little bit. Doom is very good. Well, I assume you all have the thingy keyword. Yeah? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he does. I haven't used Harlequins. Anyway, that's our two strike force attachments. You ready, Jay? You ready for this? Yeah. <laughs> so who goes first? I kind of want Joe to go first to oh, come yeah. at me, bitch. So I'm going to roll low. See? I should roll a one. Shit. No, <laughs> that means it's Eldari, I... Harlequins, keep turn, one. Keep the dice up. Don't do that right in front of the microphone, so I'm gonna, honestly, I'm gonna kick you. It's ASMR, isn't it? Oh, well, that's incredibly average, isn't it? There's, I mean, it's very average. It's worse than average. Well, my invulnerables are all fours anyway. Realistically, you know, Eldrad doesn't have the ability, I don't think, where you can just turn one to a six at normal The, the Troop Master can do sixes on himself. So if my Troop Master's getting in trouble. Yeah, so Eldrad doesn't have that wrong. Literally, okay. everything in my army has a four plus invulnerable. Well, save. you can drop one of them out and roll them again and have eight. If you really take, want to take the gamble. What was that, a five? That was a five, yeah. No, I'm going to keep them. You're going to keep them? I'm going to keep them. And see how it goes. I also Cat. have to do some stuff and some things. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I also have things to do. Mm. But you get to do yours every turn. Every battle round. Battle round. Blessings of the Blood and Garden. Whoop. <coughs> Sixes. Ah, uh, boo. Now, I do have a unit in range of an objective marker, so I'm going to reroll that one for a six. Ah, uh, boo, his boo. I'll consult my cards. Double fives for warp blades. Double four for total carnage. Double three plus for martial excellence. So I'm going to go sustained. Then I. Well, this is a struggle here, isn't it? You're a struggle. I don't think I can take another one here. Oh. Any double for feel no pain. Double, 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 double. Double, 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 double. Oh, I think I just get. Uh, I'm just going to take sustained. I feel like I. Double five plus. So if I have a five and a six, I could take another one. It's not actually a double. Just sustained. I've never come across that before. That's interesting. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help, Joe. It is. Secondary me's, please. Harlequin's turn one. 
He's been sat there typing them in for me. <laughs> Assassinate and extend battle lines. Uh, uh. I mean, me extend like battle can. lines is very achievable. I'm going to keep hold of Assassinate, I think. Assassinate is also achievable. You've got literal murder clowns, Jay. Murder clowns. He's keeping them, Kyle. I'm keeping them in there, like swimwear. Now, we're going to try something new tonight as well. Oh, right. yeah. I have no idea if this is going to work or not. So in a minute, he'll switch cameras, Jay. Oh, the power supply's an issue here. I forgot about batteries. That's a problem. Oh, I also forgot about working out where the cables go. Oh, no, that's... You might have to do me a favour in a minute. No name. Yeah. Can you... switch to this camera for me? Does it bring it up? Yeah. Look at these, Jay. Oh! People whinging about not seeing the armies on the table, you see. You try and show it off a bit more. But I don't have a battery in the camera. So I'm restricted as to how far we can go. Right, top down, Kyle. Yeah, it worked. Yeah, it's got Okay, it. so I need to, do I bring batteries with me? I don't know if I do, I think I might be in the old office. Yeah, yeah. Well, whilst you're doing that, uh, Nordos44, thank you for the one gifted membership. Christopher Sanford, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Legend! Big Pad Beat Gaming, thank you for the one. Richard C, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. And then Big Pad Beat Gaming, thank you for the five pound super chat. And he says... Bombardment! Bon Close. Blood for the Blood God, send in the clowns. Skulls for the Skull Throne, Bombardment! When will we see some old worlds? Ugh. When Jay's painted it. Which... Which is going to be a little while, I'm afraid. Yeah. There's a lot we've so got, got the Bretonians to do. The then... thing is, in the old studio, we flat just ran out of capacity for anything else. So we had to kind of put a hold on painting. In the new studio, we can add loads more things, um, including more gaming systems. So the painting workload on Joe has gone from zero to a million in no time at all. Um, so we, we'll get there. We will get there. We will add old world. I what I don't want to do is I don't want to rush it out and it, and it be half assed because that's not us. So I don't know when, to be honest with you. We're looking for a mid-year release for AOS content. We're looking at potentially bringing some Kill Team stuff in the nearer future because we kind of have all the armies already in the channel's 40k relevant. Um, but I don't know. So I can't, I, honestly, Pete, I'd love to give you a promise because you're a legend with millions and millions of Super Chats and gifted memberships, so thank you. But I can't because I don't want to give a promise that I can't keep. So as soon as we can is the best answer I can give you. Yes. Um, we have, Joe has got a, basically fully built Bretonian army now. Mostly. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm waiting on a few bits. Um, but I have got 2,000 points that I can now start painting. And we have probably around 2,000 points of high elves as well. Yeah, and obviously we've got the one box set for Tomb Kings. So that's like, yeah. well, there's no point really touching that until we double it, essentially. So we're going to get Bretonians and High Elves ready to go, hopefully first. Yeah. And then as soon as they're ready, we'll do content. But yeah. I also don't want to go hard on content at that point because we won't have variety. Yeah, I think um, I, I can eventually expand my Soul Blight Grave Lords into a Vampire Counts army. But that's some units I'm going to have to duplicate because they have smaller bases. Like the, the Blood Knights are in the Vampire Counts army, but they're on much smaller bases. In Old World. In Old World. Because yeah. they're based on the old metal models. So I don't want to get the old metal models, I want to use the new plastics, but I need to find a way of making them fit on a small base. Just every time you play, just cut the bases off. Yeah. 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 Magna, can't magna size, because they're all like holding on. Are they on oval ones. bases now? Yeah. So just get a meat Massive. cleaver. Massive. Meat cleaver, bang, bang, and then you can put them together, can't you? Yeah. All right, done. 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 Problem solved. Mm. Morning Hammer, thank you for the one gifted membership. Kazarian, thank you for the two pound super chat. He says, World Eater Termies, they'd be red butchers, right? No, right? World Eater Terminators. You feel me, bro? They did one for that anniversary model as well, didn't they? The they did. It says, World Eaters Terminator Squad. Red Butchers was a stratagem for 2CP in the old book. Doesn't exist anymore. Don't have red butchers anymore. Just worried it's terminators. I'm definitely not a million percent salty as shit about this. What are you playing at? I can shoot three bikes at you. Yeah? Yeah. Can you now? Yeah. Stick Muggy, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Schooner, thank you for the one. 
Who knows? And Dave B, thinking of the two-man super chat, he says, Hello, you sexy bearded <laughs> maverick renegades. Schooner. You get a quiet schooner for one, Gideon. Thank you. All in our channel polo shirts as well, currently available in the empty dot store. Put a link in the description Discord yesterday about it. These are available. Not the ones that Joe, Joe's worn, but any any polo shirt. I put this one on because my um, my other t-shirt had beans on it. Stock is incredibly limited right now as well. We don't have a lot of stock because it took me, it was a 600 pound order to get stock in. Yeah. Which I, I made just before the tax bill. That was a mistake. Yeah. Anywho, you've moved, Joe. I have. You've done some moving and shit. I'm going to shoot three Skyweavers <laughs> at your uh, bloody blood men. This unit? This yeah. unit? This unit. The one at the front. This one? Yeah. The cool. one's on the barrel. Yep, cool. So only three can shoot. Threes to hit. Good. You get to roll a hit roll? Oh, I do. This is fun. I missed anyway. That was a hit. Yep. You all saw it. Strength three. <laughs> three. Sixes. You might as well wound. No. Oh, you're the six, aren't you? I need sixes anyway, because dev wound. Reroll one. You get to reroll a wound, aren't you? Boom. Boom. <laughs> and then um, the Star Weaver at the front. Star Weaver. You yeah. will shoot at them as well. So six shots. In on threes. Six explode. Reroll one. One, two, three. Oh, they've got sustained, have they? That's right. Sustained, yeah. Yep. Strike uh, six this time. So fours. Reroll a wind roll. Oh, Jay. I don't like this. Oh, Jay. Have you converted one of them yet? Uh, AP? One? One. Two so damage. I have a three up save, which goes to four up save. Good. B like that. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I'm done now. You sure? Mm. Fuck completely. Done. Yeah, Good. I'm going home. I have got extend battle limes. Um, I do not have assassinate, but I will keep hold of it. Did you get the big the how much battle I, lines? I got the big battle lines. Five. The big battle. He's got big battle limes. As yeah. Jay. Did you say you're going to keep assassinate? Yarp. Good. Yarp. We like that. World eaters. Turn one. World eaters. Turn one. I do like harlequins because they're fast. I want to go fast. They are super fast. Yeah. Mr. The Kyle, can I pretty please have some objectives? Yeah, just so some secondaries, Ooh. yes. That's what I mean, yeah. You get objectives. Bring it down, assassinate. Oh, that's good for you. Kill a vehicle, kill a character. I mean, the character's not so good for me right now, but bring it down's okay. I haven't said where my characters are going to be. That's a problem. Oh, I forgot to scout move as well, but it's a bit late now. Good. Only because Lord Invicarus <laughs> makes things scout. I'm keeping them both, by the way, Mr. Vicarus. Okay. Hmm. Lord Invicarus makes two infantry units scout six inches uh, until the end of the battle. Almost a scout. Yeah. Okay. I've got three characters, right? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. God, I didn't say where they are. Just pick them now, Joe. No, no, that no, way. Just pick them now. So it doesn't matter. Joe, he's in number six. Reroll it. <laughs> to six. <laughs> Reroll it. Into four. Don't so no. just pick it. I don't care. Just put them in the fucking transport. I'm not bothered. It doesn't make any difference right now. It does. No, it doesn't. The next one is the other troop master. Oh, for fuck's sake. He's in number six. Why, where were these sixes like two minutes ago? Five. So he's over. He's over you here. wouldn't put two troop masters next to each other. Yeah, you, you would. Probably not. But, and then the last one, the shadow seer, is in number four. He's already in somewhere. He's in number one. Oh, that's a problem. God, you wouldn't do that, would you? That's would. not how you would have deployed them. I like to live life dangerously. Oop, like that. Okay. Good. Also, I tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for being here, chat. Right, anyway, uh, I've done my blessings to the Blood and Garden. Um, I don't have any command face stuff to do, I don't think. Straight to move in. I like to. Move it, move it. I'd like to move and move it. All right, I'm going to start moving then, Kyle. You can talk to chat again. Uh, chat's very quiet at the minute. Uh, Jeffrey Sutherland, thank you for the... Uh, well, Jeffrey Sutherland, thank you for becoming a herseer all by yourselves. Oh. All by yourself. Thanks, man. What a hero. I mean, I'm just going to run at you, Joe, if I'm honest with you. Yeah? Yeah. Demon Prince. Prince of Demons. Hmm. He, he got objectively worse, but I actually kind of love them right now. I love Demon Princes. I think they're cool. What I really wanted for turn one was that suite of advance and charge goodness. We did. 
That was there by the put there by the previous defenders to stem the flow within the hole. Was it? Yeah. Well, fuck them. Wow. 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 Woo. We wow. Woo. Come on, Mister the Lord Invocatus. Get your butt over here. Lord Avocado. Lord Avocado. The man with the golden horse. I built him yesterday on, yeah. street, on Twitch. Exclamation what, on that Twitch. one? I built that one ages ago. Uh, no, not that one. No, you're correct. I built him yesterday on Twitch. Hmm. Exclamation mark Twitch to come and join us hobbying. Uh, I didn't use his head. I don't like his head. No? No, I'm not a fan. No. I do need to replace that guy's hair at some point. I have spare hair now. Yeah? Yeah. Jeez. That for a move. Big old 18 advance. Yeah. Big old 18 advance. Could have done with the fucking scout move here. That would have been really helpful. What's their move? 11? 9. Jesus. 9 inch move. Jesus! Jesus! It would have been, if I'd have done my pre game 6 inch scout, I'd have been like on the objective now. Oh. Would have been really good, wouldn't it? It would have been. Yeah. Is that end of your movement phase? That's it in my movement phase, Joe. 1 TP, Phantasm, run away! It's only D6 now. I know, but I'm, I want to get. I want to get my Shadow Seer out of the way. <laughs> I don't want her to die now. Just don't roll a one. Just don't roll a one. I'm going to roll a six. Because I've rolled so many so far. Yeah, I believe in I you. I feel confident. Definitely a one. A <laughs> oh, I saw the one! I saw the one as well. I mean, the mathematical D6 average is a 3.5, right? So you'll take the four because it's above average. Yeah. I couldn't have killed your Shadow Seer anyway. I could have only killed the boat. Okay. Okay, I'm into it. It's just a little bit more of a runaway, you see. Run away, run away. Okay, I've got no grenades on the Aiton Bounden. Uh, nope, they don't have grenades. So I'm just going to charge you now. Oh, yeah. Basically. Basically. I th I'm still very much in charge range. You it's just a little bit harder. are very much in charge range with that unit. So I've got uh, the unit of three here, the unit of six here, and then that one there. Yep. So this unit of three here is eight inches. This unit here is, we'll call it nine inches. And then to the bikes is 10. And the demon prince to the bikes can't make it. I can't declare a charge because I'm not within 12 of any unit. So the demon prince isn't going to be able to charge. He's going to just cheer them on. Good chill beans. Yeah. Right. So eight, nine. And then over here, this unit is a mighty, is that a bike or a boat? A boat. Uh, two boats, it's hull, so eight inches. Right. I'm on a boat. So the first unit of three with an eight inch charge because Corn wants it. Yeet. No. Thank God. Corn doesn't want it. Thank the big unit God. of uh, of six, Mr. the Invocatus, I think he's full back in charge, isn't it? Is eligible to shoot and declare a charge in a turn in which it fell back. Yeah, okay. So he's they've got a nine inch charge, Mr. the Invocatus' unit. Yeah. Yeet. This is where I'll spend the CP. Oh, Just because I like the I like the nine inch charge, despite the fact it's like a forty three percent chance with the reroll. Always, always make the bet. You see, always make the bet. I nearly won a game. <laughs> <laughs> a beachhead. No, don't, don't cut yourself out yet, Joe. It's only turn one. Because <laughs> the guy was like, "Phantasm, I'm going to run my uh, big stompy boys. What are they called? Wraith guard. Yeah, you can't. I'm going to phantasm away. Yeah, right. Ran away with them. Rolled a six. So it was an 11 inch charge. I was like, I'm doing it. I failed the first time, rerolled it, got it, caught them, murdered them all. But eight. Just roll a four plus three. Ah, uh, boo. Mm. So only one successful charge for the world eaters on turn one. That advance and charge would have been really nice. Always gamble on a so, big charge. So it would have been those, those scout moves. Because big charges are cool. Sam Deacon, thank you for the one gifted memberships. Sven, thank you. Mr. Sven Holio, thank you for the five gifted memberships. And that's, and we're spent, that's it. Oh, you're all amazing. Only using the 10 inch move that I have. Okay. So that's me charged, chat. Now I'm gonna instantly pile in. My captain, my captain. I'm making sure here that I use as much of my movement as I possibly can. Right, Lord Invocatus 
and three of these guys have managed to make combat with the floaty boat. Oh, yeah. The other three guys mm. have made combat with your bikey bikes. My bikey bikes. But bike. only two of them can fight, importantly. One of them isn't in engagement range. Okay. Uh, what's, your dam what's your damage? So I've got... Uh, I'm going to run the same weapons I always run, despite the fact that the other ones would be better on this occasion. I've got eight band eviscerators on five of them, which are two damage weapons, and I've got lacerators on the big boy with the big stick. The big stick should be one damage, but he's three damage weapons. I'm going to spend a CP yeah. on lightning fast reactions. For a minus one to hit. The minus one to hit on the sky weavers. On the bikes. On the bikes. The BC Clets. The BC Clets. Okay. I am... What's your toughness? Is it, is it toughness six for the flighty boats? Toughness six indeed. In dee dee doo dee. So I'm going to spend a CP on for the Skull Throne, oh. which is plus one to hit, against, uh, plus one to wound, sorry, against a character, monster, or vehicle unit. Okay? So I'm going to start off with the two guys, just the two guys. Be like that. Including Mr. the Stickman into yeah. the Bicyclets. Mm. Okay. So Mr. the Stickman's going to start, how many wounds are the Bicyclets each? Three. Three. So Mr. the Stickman's going to start first. He's got four attacks placed, yeah. plus one because I charge him a World Eater. Yeah. Angry man! Fours. Fours now. Cool, I've hit you three of the times. No mm -hmm. sixes, so no splows. It saves you one hit. I'm toughness four. At this point, I'm now strength ten with plus one a wound. Twos. Good. That's three. They are minus two, so you're on your invulnerable saves. And they're th three damage, yeah? Three damage each, yeah. Good. Good. One's dead. Bad. <laughs> um... <laughs> and then the other guy's two damage, isn't he? The other guy's two damage, and he has seven attacks. But he does hit on fours with exploding sixes. Fours, yeah. And he will be strength six with plus one wounds, so we're on threes. We're running ones. I'm going to gamble. I shouldn't have gambled. Two are dead. Two. <laughs> so the other guy has six attacks base, plus one for being a world eater. Yeah. An eater of worlds. Mm. I'm so happy about world eaters at the moment. I don't know why. Uh, he'll hit you on fours as well. Sixes explode. Okay, so I miss with four, but I get exposed. So I yep. hit you mathematically probably as many times as I should, right? Yep. Uh, I'm strength five base, plus one because I charge, which puts me on strength six. Your so toughness four, plus one of wound means me I'm winning on twos. Yeah. And because I am an eight boond, I reroll ones. Well, that's fun. Good. That's four. These, also minus two. Also minus two, uh, but two damage each. Yeah, so, so... you need two to kill a guy. Good. That's two wounds. Good start. It's out of the box, Jay. I didn't want that. It doesn't one. count. That's another one dead. He's dead. Two and more to go, Jay. Oh, he'll live at least. He Only lives. just so with a wound of Joe. Joe. <laughs> <laughs> that was two, by the way. Okay. The other three guys. Hey, so it's three guys. They're now going to attack into the floaty boat, right? Yeah. So they have six attacks each as three guys is 18. Obviously, because maths and shit. Plus three, because. I charged. Yeah. So I have 21 attacks. Now these hit you on threes, unless you're naturally minus one to hit as a floaty boat. Harlequins used to have really good rules. They, they used to be checking. good, didn't they? No. Not, no natural minus one to hit all the time like they used to have? No. Good. Threes. Sixes. Splode. So one, two, three, four, five, six out. Two back in. Nice. So four missed. So that means I hit you 17 times, Joe. Ooh. Now these are strength five, up to six because I charged, and you're toughness six. Yeah. But I've got plus on a wound because yeah. you're a vehicle. Mm. Oh, I shouldn't have had that plus on a wound on those last ones. No. Because they're not vehicles. He's a cheater! He's hacking. So that, that one was out of the box. So they're all wounds. Oh. Put a bike back on. That's all right. That's the fairest thing to do. Put a bike back on. That's all right. I don't think you rolled any twos anyway. I'm not sure. And you're damaged too, aren't you? I damaged two for these, yes. It's dead. It's very dead. Very dead. Does it explode? It does not. And there are six guys inside. Put a bike back on, Joe. No, that's all right. Because all it, even, uh, even if it made the difference of one, it means that he don't be on full wounds. So, so put him on full wounds then. There's a, there's a cogger. So one has died. He's on full wounds. Because it, it doesn't impact the, the first guy that attacked, because he was already strength millions. Yeah. But it does in, impact the second guy. So we'll put him on full wounds, okay? Come here, you, you dancey lady. Did you not kill her off, no? No. 
No. But I would have got assassinate. But it's only one mortal wound, so I'd have to roll something like three. Three ones, four ones. They got bugger all in the way of wounds, haven't they? Bugger all. That. I get to fight you now with my one bike. It's the end of my turn. I get four attacks. You do. <laughs> we right, Harold? I am strength five. Chapter six. Five. We are wounded. Two at minus one. So four up saves. I pass on fair one damage. Two damage. Okay, so one lives with the wound. We would have, of course, done the piling as well for three inches after we got everything out. Mm. Uh, which goes. Do I let you fight me? What's your, what are players like nowadays, Joe? Player! Player! What are they like nowadays? A player, would you believe, nowadays is. So. A player. Player! If it makes a charge roll, a charge move, they get plus one to wound, don't you know? I have got a Harlequin special weapon, which is strength four minus one, one damage. We have four attacks. Uh, can you fall back and charge still as a Harlequin? <laughs> you can't. I can. I'll touch the unit. I've got a strat which allows me to do it. I'll touch the unit. You're gonna touch me, are you? Yep, so you can fight with all your Harlequins. Ooh. One. Part of my piling. Two. Three. Four. Players. Actually, you've got a guy on to one wound, haven't you? Yeah, I have, yeah. So these are the normal Quins, hitting on threes. We all hit roll. I'm going to save it, actually, that's got. Oh, that's an interesting. I'm going to save it for my miss, Dave. Okay. Because it's multiple damage. Yeah, D3. Um, I thought, knock off one wound. That's what I want to do. Fives. It's straight four, right, with your Harlequin weapons? Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. You're going to keep your reroll win roll as well? Yeah, just in case. AP1? AP1. So, four ups. Fell one, he could not cause that it one wing. It worked! The plan is coming together! Hey, Joe killed a guy. I got four attacks from Stick Lady. <laughs> As she hits you on twos. Oh, uh, She hit me all the time. I did. She is... Strength. Six. Five. Five. Okay. Boom. Fives. So you kept your reroll a win, which you're probably yeah. going to need now. You are going to need it now. Does it... Con it converted you! Oh. It did something! <laughs> Stick Lady. Minus one. I th I was... It's kind of minus one across the board. It makes them a really good, apparently. Really good. Have you got one. your feel no pain? Yes, I have. I should have done on the other guy. Six ups. No, I didn't get my feel no pain, did I? Because I couldn't work out if I was allowed it or not. Yeah. So, it's so three D three, J. Three D three. So the first one. Did you not want to just? Okay. Like one damage. Yeah. Okay. You have a, you know, you have a D3. I in know, the pot. I know. I'm tempted to go. Kills a guy. Kills a guy. Well, feel no pain. No, I don't have the feel no pain. Okay. So I didn't. I don't think I got it because I didn't roll. I rolled a five yeah. and a six, but it says any double or triple. And it's not double. So. And then one more. The two, two. Okay, good. So one more dead. One's got a wound left. Good work, Joe. Good work. So he can have a he can have a wound left. Yeah. This guy. I yeah. feel like the fate dice makes more sense with Harlequins. Uh, no, fate dice makes sense with Eldar, just not the current inc incarnation of it. Yeah. I think when you just run pure Harlequins, it's a bit more... Yeah, it's a lot more balanced. 100%. A bit more tame. 100%. Cool, okay. So, Damn. that will be the end of one's turn. Yeah. I brought one vehicle down, which is two points. I don't know if I get tactical points for this as well. I think I do. Make it you three get points. Plus one? Yeah, three. Three points. Yeah. I didn't get a sat a sat a sat an eight, but you have got many characters, Big Wow. I do. So I kind of want to keep it. I really want to get the solitaire in there because he's my fave. I'm going to keep a sat a sat a sat an eight, Kyle, because yeah. I want to fight in combat and he's going to want to put his characters in combat. So yeah. let's do that. Turn two. I'll do a backflip. Battle round two means blessings of Das Blood and Gordon. Are you ready? One's out the door. Can you pass me a red one, Jay? Uh, uh. It's not a strong start, by the way. Okay, so... You can re-roll that. If you feel want. no pain. Seeing as I rolled it for you. 
and six up, for, six up for the pain and exploding sixes. Yeah. Okay, my usual, the use. Done, easy. I've Done. got further pain now. Done. We are on board with the further pain. Mm. You need a, a single objective. Yeah, I've got assassinate. Assassinate already. What is my other card? Tempting target. Ooh. I'm going to tempt you into this target over here. Oh, all right then. This target over here, chat. This is his tempting target. I like it. You keep I it. I like it. Yeah. And then I got assassinate, and then I hold no objectives. I hold the, the one in my own. What's the OC of a floaty boat? One. Oh, I'm OC two as a rhino. I know rhinos are really good. Oh. At holding objectives, do I get points for holding my home objective in this one? Yeah, it's like two points, isn't it? I think. I think it's two points. Mm. The road objective is two. Each objective, no man's, is five, yeah. and then. If you control the enemies, it's six. So yeah, you get two. Two points for Jay. Tight. Look at that. So, movement phase. The movement phase, the phase of moving. Uh, Adrian me, I was on a fresco. Thank you for the 10 and for the super chat. He says, never tell me the odds. <laughs> never tell me the odds. Well, that's the only chat. It's the only fucking charge that I made. It was the worst one. The worst one. Ooh. What are you thinking, Jay? I'm thinking of the YOLO. Oh, really? How are chat tonight, Carl? Are they good? Yeah, they're good. Talking amongst themselves. Mm? Good, I'm glad. I'm glad we're all happy. I'm glad we're all happy talking amongst yourselves, not talking to us, chat. Yeah, happy if, if anyone's got many. any kind of questions they want to give to us, then please put them on the Super Chat and I'll happily read them out and call yeah, them yeah. to the team. Yeah. Um, and also, if anyone does get gifted a membership tonight, please, 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 please remember to thank the person that gave you that membership. And if you can, always pass it on. Always pass it on. Yeah. yeah, I like the pass it on mechanic. It's nice. Yeah. It's nice. It's it's good. Oh, you're going full YOLO. Yeah. Mm. I got a herpes. Yeah. Yeah. What's the OC of this one guy? Hey, say one guy. It'll be a, a eight pounds one, I think. Eight pound is OC one meter. Don't forget the hurricane intervention. Yeah, but you can only hear hurricane intervene if you have two CP. If if I charge, if you're going into unit yeah, that's yeah, just charged. Yeah. Also, if you have two CP, if you don't have. Mm. Mm. I'm gonna. Oh, I really want to blitz the the boy. Blitz my boy. I don't know what he's like in this edition. Dos solitaire. Yeah. What does the solid? So he gets plus two d six to his move. I think. Where are you, Mister Solitarian? When he blitzes once per battle uh, in your movement phase, this model can use his ability before making his normal move. If it does so, until the end of the turn, add 2d6 to this model's move characteristic. Add 3 to this model's attack characteristic. So he should go up to attacks 9 and then... He, he goes up to no, attacks 12. Oh, it's attacks 12. So uh, he can advance the charge, so I can actually, it's basically 3d6 move, basically. 3d6 plus 12. Is, it, is the blitz instead of advancing? It doesn't say, just your movement, your, you, it adds it to your normal move. It doesn't say when you advance. Let's just roll. Let's see what I roll on the 2d6. So I've got 12. He's moving 16. Oh, Blitz used to be instead of advancing. That's yeah. quite cool. <laughs> 17. <laughs> He's flying. They just got a bit shit, didn't they? Even his attacks aren't that good. No, he is. Well, he's got precision at least. Mm. What's just, the OC? <sighs> Everything in this army has got awful OC as well. He's just, got, he's just got a bit pat. They all just got a bit shit. At least he's got a threat of invun still. Mm. Solitaire weapons. Evan Tominello, thank you for the one gifted membership. Legend! Absolute hero. Fucking legend. What's that put us on? 25. 32%. 30, oh, 30 is better than I thought. There you go. Well done, chat. Well done, chat. It's a team effort. What are you doing? Running away. Like a cockney weasel. Um, that's going to go to there. He's going to go and fill that hole there. I bet he is, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make a wall. Uh, Eldrad's just going to chill. Chill beans. Beans. Um, what, sure? How do I doom with him? Uh, anything within 18 inches, enemy unit, two well, up. that's not helpful to Joe. No. It means him not good chilling beans at the back. No. When do I do that? His... In the command phase you do. I, I don't mind you doing oh, that. Oh, do is the shooting phase. 
Doom is a cheat. Oh, Doom's a cheating face. Okay, good. You're not the command face. You're right. Then I'm not holding my home objective. But it's only two points. Mm. Can you not fly a floaty boat back, though? That empty boat? Can you not fly that empty boat back? That one? No, the one by the Death Jester. Is that not empty now? No, that's got people in. Oh, okay. I'm going to need to advance. Advance, Eldrad! Good. Advance, you and <laughs> Fuck it. You could have spent a CP to just auto six. Nah. I need that CP. You could also have used a fate dice. I'm in 18 now, so. You're doomed. <sighs> Doom! He's like, it's like Fraser from Dad's he's Army. He's like evil monkey. Um, so I'm going to do some shooting and stuff and junk now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. So my floaty boat. Which one, Joe? <laughs> There's many of them. The one that's in combat over there is going to shoot. Yeah. Your boys. Cool. Minus one. Minus one to hit you. But I have doomed you, and that's in. It's a wound. Plus one a wound. Oh, I have to roll a dice to see if it happens. It does, thank God. Um, I get plus a doom when I take it. So hit, hitting you on fours. We oh. roll a hit roll. That was a hit. That one wasn't a hit. It was the one that rolled. I don't think it was. I think it lied to me. It's right, because I, I mean, you fucked it right up. One wound. Minus no, one. No, strength six. So fours. The three counts. Because doom plus one. Oh, yeah. So two wounds. Oh. It worked for Ooh, you. Two one damage. dies, one takes two wounds. Don't feel no pain. Oh, that's right. The first one with one wound is dead. The yeah. second one with all of his wounds currently takes two. Good. I don't want those dice. You can keep those ones. They're shit. Good. 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 Yeah, scary. Right. Hup. Then. And then. then. <clears throat> well, that's a shit gun, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know. Right, the, the player's player. Player. I'm going to shoot you with two neuro pistols in combat. I can't because you're not in combat anymore. <laughs> that's rude. Yes, I did that. Yes. Why? Yeah, that's why he'd already taken the two wounds. Why do you do that? <laughs> You fucked my plan now. Um, what's the range of my neuro jobby? Six inches. Oh fucking hell! It's like Mew. you can't still shoot me. I can't because I'm because you're not a monster. No, correct. Yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, and you're in combat with a vehicle, so I can't. Yeah, correct. Yeah, I can't shoot you. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing I did there. Yeah. Gosh darn it! Big brain plays. Uh, the Harlequin bike fell out of combat, so he can't shoot because. Because Games Workshop can't write rules for Harlequins anymore. Um, <laughs> I remember when Harlequins like, I could just do it. Why? Because? Because I'm a Harlequin. Because I'm a Harlequin. Yeah, because I'm a Harlequin. Like a big whoop will fight about it. Right. <laughs> uh, Void Weaver then. He's going to shoot the... Um, Prismatic Cannon. Prismatic Cannon at... Or did you put the Haywire Cannon on it? What did you put on it? Whichever one's on it. The Haywire Cannon. Is that what that is? I, that's the Prismatic Cannon. Is it? I think so. Oh. I don't know, which, which one would you have picked? I don't know what the I doing. probably would have gone across the board everything haywire. Did you do that one? Yeah. That's fine. Um, I'm going to shoot it at the Demon Prince, Prince of Demons. <laughs> you probably want the prismatic cannon then, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I hit you on threes with my three shots. Pew, pew. If just, you could no. stop chucking things on the floor, that'd be great. Miss, be a hero. This is fun, isn't it? Right. Um, <laughs> it's strength four. You know, I know. So sixes. Because your toughness nine? Your toughness ten. Toughness ten? Yeah. Reroll a hit roll. Or wound roll. Boo! So that's two. Lots of three devastating wounds. Down to two. Half damage. Full of pain. So four full of pains. How are you half all his damage? Because I've got the helm of brazen ire. Oh. Half all damage. Good! I take three. So the helm of balding tires. And then. Nine left. A shirkin no. cannon. It's got two, isn't it? And then another shirkin <laughs> cannon. <laughs> I got you back, Jay. And that one explodes. So all six hits. Yeah. Uh, fights. Liam coaches Jay. Oh my! Ooh. And you've rerolled your wound roll already. I have. Uh, so AP one. Mm hmm. Well, they actually have a two up save. Threes. Colour me a surprise. I'm good. Yes. Be like that. Be like that. Um. Okay. He's okay. gonna come in and fuck you up in a minute. Okay. Um, he is a demon prince, prince of demons, Joe. Good. 
Uh, this guy here, he's going to shoot these guys. Hey, it's that one guy. So the prismatic, no, no, haywire cannon. You don't want to shoot the haywire cannon at the tank? No, because I don't want your tumbling monkeys to fall out. And, <laughs> right, one hit. Um, <laughs> that's a wound. It is a wound. AP1 again, right? It's no? anti oh, it's anti vehicle 4 plus. You just take three more wounds. Well, you don't, because you I shot with eight barrels, you oh, clown. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, well, I know what I'm talking about. What's the AP, Jay? AP3? One. Oh, is it? Yeah. They really made the. Yeah, no. Three damage. Feel no pain. No, no cover in there. No. In you the can cover if you want. Yeah. Cover. You saved it. Oh, no, you can't get better than a three plus anyway. Yeah. Well, it would have gone three plus four plus three plus, wouldn't it? If you want. I don't know how the rules work. Right. They literally stood in. Rivers. That's fine. You can live. <laughs> I want to live. This guy here, he's going to shoot them. Um, we want a hit roll. Good. Not that. We want a win roll. God. It's boring, isn't it? Reroll here, it, roll, it, but it is. It's right. my like this is why. I've, oh, this is his shirkin cans, by the way. This is basically why I stopped. St <laughs> oh, we just do them in different sequences, as and when you feel like it. Yup. Just the one wound, actually. You're three up, good sir. Yep. Yep. I'll reroll it, Joe, for you. I hope I get felt. There we go. Two damage. Eat it. Five scars. <laughs> one damage. Good. Um, how much CP have you got, Mr. Liam? 17. Ooh. 17 CP, minimum. That's a good amount. It's a good amount, yeah. No, I've got one, mate. I know. Okay, I can't interrupt, if that's what you're asking me. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll go into the charging phase. Charge! The solitaire's going to charge your eight bound. I'm in. The uh, Shadow Seer's unit's going to charge the eight bound. She's in. And then the other unit of troops are going to charge eight bound, and they're in. Don't fuck it up. Don't fuck it up. Right. Now, historically, if this was me as a Harlequins player in the last edition, I, I wouldn't have felt like I needed to commit all of that stuff. We'll see. We'll see, Joe. We'll see. We'll see. I'm excited. And then uh, this big unit of six, I'm going to try and make it to that unit of three eight bound. Oh, really? Yeah. What's the charge range? Do you I think it's nine. Oh, that's a big one, is it? I think it's nine. I can't fucking see from around here. Watch out for the crane. I nearly, I broke it last game. I know you did, I glued it back together. I think it's nine. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a nine. I can't make it any closer. It's a nine, I'm afraid. It's a nine. Even straight direct. That's a seven. seven. Can I replace that? Two. No, no, I've got a CP, haven't I? Yeah, you I've can CP reroll it, and you can then use a fate dice, but you've only got a five. Is there a troop master in the unit? Yeah, but he can only swap it for a hit, wound, or saving throw. Oh, okay, that doesn't help you then. Yeah. So, do you roll, roll a dice first, and then substitute? No. Just for clarity, for a fate dice, do you have to use a CP every time you want to use one? No, 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 no. So if you want to CP reroll your charge, mm. you can CP reroll, you can use one fate dice and you roll the other dice. You don't get to roll the dice first, see what it is, and then add the fate dice. Good try, though. <sighs> the five. So you're going <laughs> to use the five, which means you need four plus to make the charge. Yeah. 50 50 ish. <laughs> I mean, it literally is pretty much 50 50. Yeah! yeah! Good. <laughs> yeah, what a great broken mechanic this is. It worked right. for you, Joe. I believe in a thing called. Blood. Just listen to the rhythm of your blood. <laughs> blood. Yes, blood. Joe has made many charges. Big wow. And now they're all going to get murdered by Khan straight after. Khan. He's coming to and get And then they'll you. do their pile in moves like that. Yeah, cool. Okay. Cool. Right. So you get to um, just swing your dick around uninterrupted, Joe. I'm going to go with the solitaire first because he's a the big coolest. Dick. He's the big dick boy. Yeah. How many, what's it, it's two damage weapons as well, isn't it? So, okay. Tis. I'm into it, I'm into it. And he has got herpes. Precision. Precision. So you're gonna go at the Mr. the Impetigo? Yeah. Well, first of all, you've got to roll to hit, Joe. Twos. Reroll. Hit roll. Cool, good. good. You've hit with everything. Your strength is six, I believe. I am. So you would normally wound me on fours, because I'm yeah. tough to six, but you get plus one from Doom. Doom! Doom! So you room on three, sir. Yeah. We roll a wound roll. Mm-hmm. That was good, wasn't that it? That was ele eleven. 
Would you like to allocate all of these to Lord Avocado? Well, enough to kill him. So Lord Avocado is on a two plus, and I believe the Heart Solitaire has minus two. He is, yeah, so there's only fours. So How many fours wounds has he got? He has got eight wounds. So roll four saves, and then... So four, four ups. Be so I, I pass three. Yeah, just do another one. Four up. Four up. Another one on him? Um, no, I put it on a unit. So five plus eight bound. So that hit, that will kill a guy. But no, feel the pain. Feel the pain? It does kill a guy. Yeah. Okay. All of these on the unit now. Yeah. So five pluses. <laughs> okay, so. I should have just gone into the unit to start off with. Okay, you? so. Um, the first four are a fresh guy. Yeah. Six up for no pains. If I make two, like that, yeah, he's we'll alive. call that one a fail. We'll call that one a fail. Yeah. He's alive. So the last two. Okay, so the guy on one wound dies. Yeah. The other, another guy dies. Yeah. And then Lord Invocatus takes two damage. Boo. Okay. But you have the rest of your units to fight. Like, I, I do. I still don't think I'm going to be alive at the end of this. Yeah. So he dies. He dies. Uh, uh. And Lord of Avocado, Lord Avocado has six of the finest wounds remaining, okay? Yeah. Good. So you've got one more eight bound to chew through, and then you've got Big Man on Jugger Horse. Yeah, so I've got the uh, the first troop that doesn't have the Shadow Seer in. First, I'm, I could do all, all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Threes? Is it? Tis. You want to hit me? There's a cocker in the corner there, you can have that as re roll as well. There you go. Boop. I'm feeling generous Boop. tonight, Joe, because you're brave enough so, to bring the clowns. I know. Strength four, so five to wound me, but fours because doom. Because doom! And you can re roll a wound roll. Yeah. Yeah, it's Gabby. Right. That oh, many. Oh, Lord. Minus oh, one. Minus one, so. Uh, this is important, actually. How many damage are they each one? Yeah. So that guy's on full health. So uh, four ups. Good. Sorry, Joe. Sorry. Four ups. Okay, he fails two. So I'll just do the last one on him as well because he can't. Um, he can't pass on to Avakai now. So he fails those. But it's six ups. Yeah. Feel the pains. He dies. You do get a guy. I killed one. Hey, Brooke killed a guy. You probably want these dice. One ones, unit of highly elite Eldar. Yeah, but he's like half demon, half fucking Astartes. He is. And you're only a little fast, spindly elder, so they do quite well. Yeah, they're not going to pile in. No? No. Don't fancy that, no? No. And then, my sh I'm going to go with the Shadow Seer first. Twos. All hit. Strength. Five, probably still. Five. Yeah, still. So fours. So fours. We want a moon roll. Hey. This is a minus one. Yeah. My two up goes to a three up. Whoop. Good. Ah, hmm, do I? I'm gonna, do I'm you? Gonna, I'm going to wear it, Jay. I'm going to let you do some damage to D3. me. D3. I'm going to roll for it, because all my dice are terrible. Good. I mean, some of them are better than that. Yeah. <laughs> Feel no pain. Yep, I take it. I've got five left, Jay. Three. Five to get three. Four people. Four friends. Hmm. Oh, oh yeah, one died in an explosion, didn't he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He was like, fire my brains! Alright. <laughs> yeah, so target. fives go to fours. Ooh. Good. Feel free to start rolling better. That was. Well, these are all AP1 as well, right? Yeah. So threes. So you'll be, you'll be pleased to know he's gonna live. Sixes. And he's gonna live with three wounds remaining. Toy. Okay. Right then. So I'm going to. Hang on. I've got my other unit to Is go. Is it really worth it? We've just watched this, Joe. Come on. Right. He has. What weapon am I going to give him? The good one, obviously. What? That. <laughs> so, right. Options for the Troop Master, right? Harquin Special Weapon, Troop Master's Blade. It's got two weapon options, right? One has five attacks. <laughs> Hits on twos, strength four, minus one, one damage. Or, the Troop Master's Blade, six attacks, so one more. Hits on twos, strength four, minus two, one damage. So, 
Why would you ever take? Why would you ever take? Why? Why is that even an option? Just give him six attacks. That yeah, minus okay. two. Yeah, okay. I, I guess you're going to pick those ones. <laughs> right. <laughs> so six attacks. <laughs> hit on two. <laughs> Good. We roll a hit roll. We roll a hit roll. Yeah, yes. Scotty. And then fives this time. There's no doom. Ah. Uh, 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 uh. When a troop unit charges, they get plus one to wound. Oh, yeah. Fours. That's good, isn't it? But I get to re-roll a wound roll, and I'm going to re-roll it, um, and I'm going to use a fate dice and turn it into a... Is there any point? No, I'm going to save that. I'm just going to re-roll it, see what happens. Six anyway. So that is two devastating wounds on the sixes. With dev wounds as well? Yeah. Because he gives his unit dev wounds. So we start off with the armor saves. Yeah. These are minus two now. Mm. Uh, but I have a demon prince within six inches. Prince of demons. So because I'm a five up and vulnerable, the change is this in the balance. It's like, because I'm a five up and vulnerable, mm. it changes to a four up and vulnerable. Good. Well, fuck me then. Right. And then these are one damage each. Sure. But they're six up for my pains. I fail both. One's got I, one wound left. I feel like he should be two damage. Yeah, I think that's fair. But then he's basically a solitary again, isn't he, at that yeah. point? So here's some more dices. Some dices for you, Mr. The Joe. Two, three, four, five. Five guys. Threes, and you've re-rolled your hit roll. Yeah, and I've missed a lot. I appreciate it. Do these all get dev wounds as well? Or just they do have dev wounds, yeah. Because Troop Master. So it's Troop Master. So fives, but fours, because Troop charging. Six is a dev. Joe, that was really fucking Fuck bad. It, yeah. Oh my god, Joe. Okay, so we'll do the four up in vulnerable. No, minus yeah, one, isn't it? Yeah. So it's four up still. Yeah. First, I will pass my fail one. Yeah, and then three so fulnerable pains. Three fulnerable pains of six up. Yeah, go. Pass one fail two. So he dies. So an entire troops unit with a, a, a leader of the troop kills one eight bound. And he's got two wounds left. They're turbo shit, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. I can now fight back uninterrupted, essentially. You may. So we'll go into the unit that was just fighting, all mm. right? We'll start off with the eight-bound eviscerators, because he's only getting six sacks now because you I only charged, you. charged me. Yeah. I hit you on three, six explode. I am rolling like you, but at least Good. six explode. So four hits. These are strength five. Threes. They all wound. Cool. They're all minus two. Oh. And they're all two damage. It's four of them. Invans. Good. Three I killed three. Three died. The other guy only has four because you rudely charged me. I do. So I hit you on threes and six explode. I hit you three at the times, Joe. And these are only strength nine. <laughs> and I can reroll ones. There's no ones, Joe. <laughs> these are also minus two. Two damage? Three damage. Three damage. So, mm. how many wounds so you've you killed two. I've killed three. You've killed three. You've killed the unit. The unit. And then... <laughs> this is great. <really, laughs> fucking hell. <laughs> and how much damage are you? Three. Three each, mate. Yeah, how many wounds are the troop well, master? Four. four, thank God. Right. So you can't die. You can't die. No, That's he's right. good. Okay, good. Mr. Avocado. I can fight either Mr. the Solitaire or the other unit. I'm gonna fight the Solitaire because it's a laugh, isn't it? So he's got seven attacks with Avocado's Bane. Coward's Bane, okay. He hits you, Joe, on just the twos, actually. Oh. He's hit you with his seven attacks eight of the times. Oh. Because explodes. Oh. Okay. Oh. Now these are strength six. Is the Solitaire toughness four still? No, three. Because that's a three, isn't it? So I'm going to wound you on two, sir. Yes. Okay, so these two fail to do anything because I don't get to real ones anymore because you kill all the eight bound. Mm. These two are devastating. These four are at minus three. How many wounds has Solitaire got? Three. Okay, so he's dead. Yeah. Because it's two damage each. He is fucking terrible now. Jesus. I get assassinate in your turn. Five points for Liam on assassinate. Whoop, whoop. Five points for Liam on assassinate. Whoop, whoop. Wow. That is the end of Joe's turn. 
<laughs> End of that turn, I'm going to uh, jump back in my boat with my solitaire unit. Oh, can you just do my, that, can my, you? Yeah. It's called Runaway. So I get five points on assassinate in Joe's turn, Mr. The Carl. <laughs> he didn't assassinate. I did not. Uh, and he did get tempted target, though. I did, I he did. did that one. Um, I'm going to keep hold of assassinate, because it might come up again. Maybe. Well, I've still got four characters on the table. Yeah. It's possible. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. World Eaters, turn two. World Eaters, turn two. So that means you get two shiny fresh two secondaries. Two shiny fresh secondaries. Oh, I don't want any more, though, because I've got eight victory points. Can we just leave it there? Yeah. <laughs> I win by four. Yeah. <laughs> two new secondary things to be pleased with the Kyle. You get extend battle lines and no prisoners. Okay, or... so hold home and uh, and then kill shit. Yeah, cool. I mean, both of those very achievable. Yeah, yeah we'll keep them both. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, Liam gets two have. on his primary. Yeah, you stopped me from getting my, my 12. Yeah. Very rude. I know. Incredibly I know. rude, actually. Mm. Uh, we'll move into World Eaters. Movement, fa I don't have anything command phase to do, I don't think, no, negatory, go, no, we're good. Okay, we well, yeah, move in. We can ask, we can say thank you to chat for the 83 gifted memberships that happened in Joe's town. Yeah, and the 400 people that are watching. Yeah. Or, <laughs> thank you to our Chickdor for the five gifted memberships. Legend. Big Bad Peter came in, thank you for the super chat again. God, this guy just don't quit. Yeah. And he says, what did you think of the Crute Lone Spear? He looks cool. It does he? I like him. I like the pink. Is it just one model on his Todd? I don't read the. I, I, think, I look at the pictures. I don't read. I think it's like how they did the Bible and stuff. It's can just, you just read? A mini box. I can. But um, I like the color scheme they went for with the. the I I do like him a lot, um, because they showed off the profile of his sniper. I think he joins the squad. Like the pictures, he was like with a unit. I don't know. I don't want him to be another. Um, sniper man, sniper admex sniper man. Yeah. Who's who is a sniper that is not good at killing things. Yeah. Because lone lone op sniper man it, for admex is toilet. Mm. Nice mod, beautiful model. Um, once I built him and painted him, I did actually quite like him. So you but, left him. Sorry, sorry, Joe. You left him out of engagement range now. Yeah. Yeah. Th th thank you. Thank you. That means I can charge now. Thank you. Who's got fights first? Is it just the troop masters? Or was it just a solitaire? He's now dead. It's... <laughs> was it just a solitaire? He's now dead. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, good. How many CPs have you got, Kyle? He has... Two. One. One over one. Because it didn't update. <laughs> you got one, did you not spend one last mm -hmm. turn? You rerolled your charge roll? Yeah. By you, two. You, you didn't get rid of a... Yeah, and you spent one. You didn't. So his first turn you used lightning fast. Oh. Second turn you rerolled... Okay, sack off of assassinate then. And we'll, and we'll go for... Go the CP. We'll go in the CP. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. okay. Sack it off. So you want that too to interrupt, don't you? With so, all your really hard melee units. Mm. <laughs> so, Liam, what about you? What do you think of the Crute Lone Spear model? I, I, at the moment, the Crute range is unbelievably cool. Do you not, is, do you not think it's because they kind of look like AOS models? At, they they, they like, seem to have... A yes. bit more dynamic. In, a a bit in more... essence. They've got the, this is one of the regions... This is what I'm going to come around this side whilst I'm I, talking, I, actually. I will keep assassinate. I won't get this here. <coughs> this is the one that... Yeah, you're right, because you don't want the interrupt, because your units are shit. Mm. This is one of the reasons why um, I think things like Tyranids in 40k are so incredibly cool. Because designers can kind of go a bit wild with them. Yeah. Uh, whereas, like, Space Marines are amazing. One of the reasons why I've always had a bit more of an affinity for, for example, World Eaters or Dark Angels is because they don't look like standard Space Marines. They're quite clearly Space Marines, but they don't yeah. look like standard Space Marines. They get extra spikes and cool filigree around the shoulder pads, yeah. and all the Dark Angels get all the robes and the hoods, and, and it makes them look very different to what is a typical Space Marine. But they still kind of conform to a power armor sort of shape and size, and, yeah. you know. In AOS, one of the things that makes AOS so glorious in terms of the model range is the designers have complete creative freedom. It's like, do what the fuck you want, make up narrative for it. Yeah. So you've got floating turtles that fly through the sky and dwarfs and big balloons and, set, and dinosaurs riding dinosaurs, like lizards riding. Yeah. It's fucking sick. And the crew do kind of give them a little bit more freedom yeah. they like, kind to of, do that kind of stuff, They've already really cool. had the crew tox from before from Forge World. Yeah. Um, 
No, they had the Crutox already in metal, and then they had the Narlock from Forge World, but they kind of not really expanded outside of that. So going full plastic ranges and going a bit crazy is a bit nice, and you can make a fully fledged army out of it. But part of me wants to make a thousand point army of crew for like to use like doubles or small games. Do you think ever think they'll expand on the Vespids? I hope so. I hope I really want them to expand a lot of the Tau yeah. ancillary forces because I feel like we should have more than just yeah. Crew and Vespid as well. Yeah, because you don't really see like are they still in the codex, the Vespids? Vespid, yeah. Yeah, Vespid is still in. Yeah. You just don't ever see them anymore, do you? Um Paddy was telling me how great they were the other day. Hmm. Well, there you go. Yeah. Afro Chef, thank you for the one gifted memberships. That puts us on 38%. This has got people inside, correct? It Pe does. People. People person. Khan can run through the con container. Can he now? Yeah. Well, well lad. Giga Chad. Giga Chad. He's got some men with him. Him and his boys. Boys, boys, boys. We had it down as Flesh Terrors versus World Eaters tonight. We were like, I was like, that will be a really quick game. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it would have been. On, on <laughs> I think on um, Thursday, Jay, you get the absolute pleasure of playing Brom and his Orcs. Which means you've got to be on Thursday. Is he going Custodes on Thursday? Yeah. So oh, okay. I thought he was going Orcs. According to the schedule, he's down as Tyranids versus Custodes. Yeah. Tyranids versus Custodes. Because tonight, it's down on here as well as versus Raven Guard. Yeah, I changed it to Raven Guard because I didn't think he would want to play um, Flesh Terrors against World Eaters. Yeah. Um, but, you know, I was wrong. He wanted I to did play think about Raven Guard. I was okay with Harlequins. I think that was cool because we yeah. haven't shown them off yet in 10th. Mm. Thank you for leaving your home objective. That's nice. Fine. Uh, Chad, thank you for the $20 super chat. Um, and they say, Liam mentioned pre-recorded content the other day. Uh, could you guys toss some combat patrol games so I've got some fun bite-sized games to watch and also show my friends to help, to help me honey dick them into 40k? Uh, we possibly could actually. We've probably got a few combat patrols out back that are painted for armies. Yeah. We probably. We could give it a go. I yeah. Mean, I could do the Raven Guard one. We've got loads of them. Of course. We've got a, yeah, we've probably got a fair amount of combat patrols. So you could probably yeah. do that. One TP, Phantasm. Okay, what's Phantasming? Uh, my boat is going to run away from Mr. Big Pig. The one over there? Yeah. With the, you really want to keep that, that guy alive, don't you, with his stick? Yeah. He'd be like, bonk, <laughs> on the head. She's the only one that's killed anything this one game. One inch. Yeah. So one the, inch, Joe. So there you go, Chad. Like, it's one inch, Joe. It's on, it's on the radar. Gonna... Uh, we have a bunch of content that we want to bring to the channel going forward. Um, and there's various levels of importance to it and, and kind of priority to it. <laughs> and a lot of it depends... Um, like some of it's moving targets as well. So we want to bring AOS. We want to bring Old World. I want to bring, uh, I, I don't necessarily want to bring Combat Patrol, but I could see how that could be a quick win for us because we've already got 40k armies. And I want to bring Kill Team as well. Yeah. Um, they're kind of my main, like my main priorities. Sitting outside of that sphere slightly, and it kind of drifts in and out, is uh, Horus Heresy, for example. But typically, if I look at content out there in the internet world, Horus Heresy doesn't do very well. So I have to really think about how we're going to make it fun and interesting rather than the current dull shit you see on everyone else's channels. Narrative games. Only narrative games. And Combat Patrol, Combat Patrol and um, Kill Team is good for just pre-recorded little snippets mm. as well. Well, the, the bonus of Combat Patrol and Kill Team is the, the lack of pressure on this man because we already have Combat Patrols and Kill Teams painted. Mm. And that's the big bonus about, about Combat I'd Patrol want to team. convert up specific Kill Teams, though. Like make of course, really of course cool. you would. Put like, banners on everything. <laughs> not like, like, like make a bunch of cool spec So guys. this is what I'm trying to tell you, chat, right? Here I am trying to alleviate his workload. Because think about it, Joe, because if we've pre-recorded Kill Team and stuff, me and Liam could just come down on the weekend while you're and chilling I, out at home. And I also dread when he goes, I've just started listening to this new audio book. I'm like, oh, fuck me. What army do you want to correct now? Correct now? <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said to you earlier, I'm not going to listen to, I'm not going to start the Horace Heresy again. But, <laughs> like... Like I'd like, I'd like the idea if we play pure kill team, to do cool decked out guys with like extra ammo pouches and night vision goggles and shit. Yeah, it's cool. Sam Fisher. I'm yeah. <laughs> like uh, if I'm scouts for forty k, it's just a generic unit you bang in your army. But if it's scouts for kill team, you want them to be like all gillied up, don't you? Yeah, it was interesting actually with it's the scout, with the Laser. with the scorpions box. Mm. What, what I found was interesting, by the way. Duh. Whoever put a £45 price tag on 10 Scorpions at Games Workshop was on fucking crack. Um, that aside, £4.50 <laughs> a, a Scorpion, Jay. 
Um, the worst part about that is that's arguably good value for 10 scorpions versus 10 banshees. Which are fuck off games. <laughs> which are nearly 80 quid. Um, but then what gets me with them for a kill team is you don't have, like, when you have the Krieg kill team, here's your medic, and here's your sniper, and here's your demolition man. Mm. Sc uh, scorpions, here's five scorpions, and here's five more of the same scorpions. Go. Yeah. No options. My biggest issue with kill team is like a, ver like a lack of narrative. Yeah. In it, right. I so I, the old kill team, like you want, you really would want to convert every man up and have yeah. him like representing the thing that he was on the tabletop. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Right, I'm going to charge you now everywhere. Oh, I, I, yeah, did a terrible phantasm. Can you I have see, that back? Can I have the CP back? Yeah, you can have the CP back. Nah, it's fine. I rolled a one. This. Do, do, do you? No, it's fine. I'll wear it. <sighs> I mean, I'm trying to be the nicest player I can. Charlie, and he's the one running out. Would you like your CP back? No, it's fine. Give me a, a game's a fun game. Give me a CV. I don't want it. I don't want it. Okay. So, I'm going to charge you now in many places. Big wow. Yes. Okay. The eight bound, I'm going to charge the vehicle. Mm. They're going to go this many inches. Good we're in. <laughs> Just. Yep, that's all we needed. Three inch pile in is all you need, Joe. Mm. Does all the damage. Yeah. Also means I don't have to move these in the way of the berserkers who are going to charge the Jetson Vikings. Mm. We're also... <laughs> They're tired. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stumbled out of that tank, didn't they? Yeah. I was going to say, you need to stop taking this easy on me, but I feel like the dice have done it for you. I mean, I'm still in combat, though. Mm. Oh. I mean, I am going to lose 70% of my armor. Vast amounts of your force, hopefully, yeah. Joe. Fuck you for bringing up elves. Yeah. No one I likes think... elves, Joe. I don't like elves anymore. I don't quite know how I scrubbed the tattoo out on my leg, but no one likes elves anymore, Joe. I think I should have bought Raven Guard and just stood away from you and blew you away. But the thing is, the problem about the Raven Guard army is it's all just, it's, it's basically like playing Tau. You Mr. Just, the Big Pig yeah. here is going to charge the elves. Oh. Right? Uh, and then Khan's is going to charge the bike. Yeah. Demon Prince is going to charge the boat. Oh. We'll leave that boat alone because you seem very desperate to keep him out of the way. No, it's fine. I'm going to let you play with him. No, because you can't kill the people inside. I'm going to let you play with him, Joe. All right? Yeah. So charging the, the elves. Oh, we're in. Mm. Uh, Khan charging the bike. He's in. Oh, my <laughs> Lord. You charged over four, yeah? You've... Absolutely stink. I had the demon Do prince. What? I thought I could <laughs> smell something. Oh my lord, that Joe it's is. Like, it smells like, it smells like that's <laughs> inhuman. Do you know what it smells like? It smells <laughs> like, <laughs> like to toot my own horn. <laughs> it smells like a McDonald's breakfast wrap. Yeah. You know, I've had four days of beans. <laughs> beans. And it's like being like two days. I had um, my partner has discovered the joy of. Uh, uh, Chips, cheese, and beans. I don't think I don't think joy is the word. Joe? It's great. And then and then we had um, you vile creature. We had like a clear out the freezer kind of dinner last night, which which turned into chicken nuggets, chips, and beans. The beans weren't in the freezer; they were in the cupboard. And then <laughs> frozen to the beans. Yeah, and then, man. <laughs> and then today also beans. Um, so the air is thick. Around. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to start over here into the floaty boat. Yeah? So I have my lacerated man mm. and another man in combat. So five attacks with the lacerated man, okay? It can hit you on threes. Well, this is in my bikes, yeah? So this is this guy here into the floaty boat. Oh. So I miss once, but six is so I hit you all the times. Mm. This is strength ten right now. I am toughness six. So I wound you on threes, mm. and I reroll ones, which is a good job, Joe. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so, wound you on threes. There we go. Two, two wounds, Joe. These are minus two, so you're on your four up invulnerable save. Four ups. Oh, you're, that, you need to take a battle shot test, but doesn't matter at the moment. Damage? Six, six damage. Where's the head? Uh, <laughs> does it explode? No. Which you take a battle shot test? Uh, they need to. Why? Because I shot them from devastating assault from my void. I weed. failed, and I don't care. I know. Battle shock is pointless. I was saying to Liam earlier that battle shock needs to be. Like more devastating to the unit that it happens to. I, zero CP, I, eh. I like the zero OC, but yeah. I like the idea that you said yeah. lose all abilities, yeah, which you, is the ability section on the data card. Yeah, I, you shouldn't be able to, like, because you're like, oh, I can't do these strats, but I still get reroll hit rolls of one, I still get my plus one to wound, I still get to reroll this, I still get fights first, I still get lethal hits. It's like, my master executions is going to fight you now. Good. He's got five attacks base, plus one for being a world eater in charge, and plus one for having the his, berserker blade. Things changed now, isn't it? Though. Yes, yeah, so it's no longer plus d three because charge. Mm. It's just plus one all the time. Mm. So I hit you on twos. I can't re-roll because you're not a character, but I do get two sixes. So I've hit you 
seven, no, five, six, seven, eight, nine at a time. He is strength seven, goes up to eight. I'm assuming your toughness four. Yeah, devastating wounds? Twos to wound, six is a dev. <laughs> Good. <laughs> I'll take that. Does okay. Zerkers so get rerolls? Uh, so that's a dead bike because it's devastating. Yeah, but he's, he's three damage, isn't he? He's three damage, yeah, now because he's two base plus one. So that's, that's two dead bikes. Good. Ooh. Murder. Murder. The Demon Prince, Prince of Demons, has charged you, Joe. You know what that means? His attacks, I'm about to die. His attacks gain the Devastating Wounds ability. Ooh. Right? He has six base. Your, your, your Demon Prince is much better than the Chaos the, I, I think the World Eaters Demon Prince on foot is, is very good, mm. actually, now. Um, mm. And That's I wanted to, I've got two in my list that I'm writing because I don't want any anger on. So I'm going to hit you now on two, sir. Okay. I'm going to hit you that many times, but I did get three sixes. So I hit you six times, but mm. I got three sixes, so I've actually hit you nine times. Nine. Nine. Bomb's favorite number. Now, they're only strength 10, 11 now because I charged. So it's still threes to wound you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, still threes to wound you. So I have, ooh, it's not going well for the wounding here. So there is a devastating wounds there, which is three damage. Yeah. And there's those three that are at minus two. Fours. Oh, he's dead. There we so go. So you took 12 damage, Does Joe. Does he explode? Oh, what a journey. <laughs> but we got there. Um, is it D3? One. Oh, so you don't kill me. I feel no pain, however. Oop. Nope, I, don't, I take it. I'm on two. The Prince of Demons, Demon Prince is on two. And the good okay. thing is about that, I lose a guy over here. Um, he goes. Does Avocado take one? He would do, yeah, because six inches, isn't it? So everyone yeah. here. Um, so he takes one, but I got a six half pen on him, because it's within six. Yeah, he takes one. He's down to one. Uh, Khan's unit takes one, six half no pain. Yeah, they take one. And then Lord Avocado takes one, but six half no pain. My troop master dies. So he had one wound left. Oh, no, I rolled a four, didn't I? So he's got three. Yeah, he's fine. So he, um, Avocado goes down to two as well, please. So uh, that did more damage, I think, the explosion than the most of your melee. I know, it's, um, <laughs> it's quite depressing. <laughs> so when Vicart has charged you, I have seven attack space plus one because I am an avocado, right? And I'm hitting your troops on, on twos. And six is explode. So that one miss misses, but I get that back. So yeah. I, I, on every swing so far, I've hit you more times, I think, than I had. Nice. I am strength seven. Two. Twos to wound you. The good thing is, I get rid of these cards really quickly. So that's devastating. Mm -hmm. That was a wound. I am devastated. They're all at minus two. Fours. One, two, three, four, and devastating. The unit's dead. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'll take that. That's good. Right, good. Now Khan gets to fight. This is the most fun I've had with World Eaters, Joe. <laughs> you can you, can you, this is when World Eaters are actually doing what I feel like they should do. This is like this is like a kid in a in a paper mache factory, isn't he? Just, <laughs> got a stick, smashing up all those paper mache. Khan has eight attacks base, plus one for charging nine. Yeah. Then you're on twos. Sixes explode. No sixes. But he gets to reroll hit rolls and win rolls of one once he's leading a unit. Yeah. So there we go, that wasn't a six originally, so I'm not okay. going to claim that's a sustained. Uh, Khan is strength seven now, so your bike's toughness four, so threes. We're rolling ones because I'm leading a unit. Mm. You're in danger, Joe. Minus I, two. I, Three damage each. I mean, oh, you tried. Just, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his unit would have just murdered him anyway. Yeah, but I wanted Khan to do it because it's cooler. I, I get to fight now with my one remaining man. Oh, I forgot to shoot my, um, my Terminators to Eldrad. Just, there's a wall in the way. That's, yeah, it. okay. We're, we're um, good, I'm scaring wall, I'll take it. My troop master, who hits on twos. We won't hit roll. All right. I'm not dev wound anymore, because I'm not leading a unit. <laughs> um, fuck, that's bad. Strength four, fives. I mean, um, you did okay. We roll a wound roll. You've done okay, Jay. Minus two. The dev wins would have been nice here. So, four up in vans because I'm still in range of that demon prince. Yeah. Prince of demons. I failed all of them, Joe. Ooh. You could murder them here. So, the one guy on one wing left. Six is. He's dead. <laughs> the other, I did not think you'd kill both of these. I was like, this is a safe bet, this. Why are you rolling? He's only damaged one. Oh. Yeah. So, he's killed one, and then you rolled, need to roll one more no pain. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. So... 
Yeah. For a minute, we thought he was good. I thought it was two damage each. Yeah. Because it's a troop master, you know? And the dream disappeared. <laughs> yeah. Because the troop master's like, he's definitely two damage each. So, like, one How of my fights in the wind. You did three in total. Yeah. So he's got one wound left then, because I failed all three Fiona Pains. Okay. okay. Right. Good. So, I now get to swing <laughs> you back, though. Yeah. Uh, with my lacerators. Mm. No, I killed the lacerator guy. So it's the other guy. Yeah, it's the other guy. It's the so guy with the two little chopsticks. This guy is, the lacerators is the, the guys with the big pole sticks. Mm. <laughs> Get your pole out. Ooh. Get your pole out, right. So this, which means this guy actually has more attacks. Hitting you on threes. Sixes. Explode. Because the idea with this, like, Harlequin troops is that you could disembark from a little sky job, right? Murder something and then jump back in. But the problem is, you're so crap you can't actually kill anything to run away. You're telling me there's a chance. No, you win me on threes. Yeah, they're ones, Joe. That's a two. Oh, I thought you had I, I can't add there. them together. I thought you had a three in there. No, no, no. What's your damage? What's your damage? Two. Two. You can't die. I know, but... <laughs> Way. It's going to run away now. <laughs> like a cockney weed. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah! Okay, that is the end of the World Eater's turn. And he's like, everybody died. I successfully extended my battle line to five of the finest victory points, and I max no prisoners, which I think is eight. Yeah? I think no prisoners max is eight. Has we Avocado touched my boat? No. Touched my butt? No, I didn't think, I thought I'd let you run away. <laughs> I'm not gonna run away. Uh, we'll check no prisoners, but I'm pretty sure it maxes at eight points. Yeah, I'm just gonna check it now. Because I definitely maxed it. <laughs> So your army isn't looking very big anymore. No. Maximum no. of five. Is it five? Which one's eight then? Is it? I'll bring it down. Eight is capturing the outpost. No, there's another one. There is another one. I'm going to steal the cards from Kyle. Have a look myself. Capturing the outpost is definitely eight. You are correct, by the way. But there is another one. Oh, gambits. I forgot they existed. Turn you three. Might, you might want these, Joe. Harlequins. Yay! Right, so you kept assassinate last time. I did. So you only get one new secondary, and it is no prisoners. <laughs> Kill stuff. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'm already tr tr struggling with that. Well, you got all the tape measures over there. Yeah. You going to keep it? Yes. <laughs> all right. This is where I table Liam. I've lulled him oh, into a bring full... it down is the one that goes up to eight. Okay. I've lulled him into a full sense of security. You do you want these gambits, Joe? Before you do that, though, I do have to do my blessings of the Bluden Garden. Mm -hmm. Are you ready? What? Oh. <laughs> uh, I think I'm just going to keep the same, though, to be fair. Yeah. I'm going to keep my Furno Pain. It's whether I go bring Angron back with mm -hmm. my three sixes, uh, whether I go advance and charge, or whether I go sustained. Denied. Uh, now, if I was you, I'm going to go sustained because I think I need that. I think it's more important to me overall. Two, three. Okay, right. Um, what are you doing in the shape of primaries, Joe? Nothing. Not a single sausage. You Thank you for that horrible reminder. You've not even got your own? No. Oh, yes, no, I, I have that now. Terminators is that on it, it right now. It is mine now. I have Terminators, and considering he can't kill three Apama units, he might struggle with two Apama Terminators. Good. Mm. Good. We're having fun, Joe, aren't we? Yeah. You can kill Avocado and a Demon Prince this round. That'd be That's what successful. we're going to do. We're going to... We're just going to... That'd be pretty cool. We're going to delete you now. I'd be into that. Mass deletion. Masturbation. Mm. Sweet. Uh... Tim Wilson, thank you for the five pound super chat. And he said, just for it would be awesome. What a hero. Thanks, yeah. man. How many gifts did we on, G? I'll get there in a second. Jayco, thank you for the two pound super chat. He says, Joe, when was the last time you had vegetables? <laughs> beans are vegetables, aren't they? Beans are technically <laughs> vegetables, yes. Um, <laughs> they're haricot beans <laughs> with tomato sauce. Yeah. Um, I have had vegetables recently. I had them. 2009. <laughs> on Sunday. <laughs> I had I had them on Sunday. Oh, have you Did known? you? Was I it did. a roast dinner? Yeah, I had a roast dinner. Actually named Magnus, thank you for the 50 Swedish Corona, and he says, have an upcoming tournament and had a fun idea of going in with Corn Demon Army with three combat patrol boxes and one bloodthirster. What are your thoughts? I love it. I love it. I'm into yeah. it. Do it more. The combat patrol boxes are blood letters, um, the crushers... I think Skulltaker's in there though, isn't he? I think there's a chariot as well. A, um, 
Yeah. Skull char- a skull th- um, herald it, thing. Has it not got the herald in it anymore? No, I, think, I thought it was skull taken now. I'm not sure. Maybe it is the herald. I love it. I think it's cool as fuck. Yeah. Um, there's a very narrative corn army as well, which is super cool. Uh, nice of variety. <laughs> Maybe you get flesh hounds in it now, actually. I think you get flesh hounds in it. You get a lot of them now. Flesh hounds. Actually, you know, considering the prices of GW stuff, the combat patrol boxes, stroke, the vanguard boxes and AOS are actually incredibly good value. S- yeah, some of them. Like, you do get some of them when you look at it a little bit like... There's a couple where they put, they always, there's a couple, there's always a couple where they look at it and they put a character in it, which I'm like, you, you can only take one of them. Why have you put that in the and box? And then suddenly that, like, that also bumps up the price. So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's odd. But yeah, I think it looks super cool. I think having like 30 to 60 blood letters, having the flesh downs, the, you know, the crushes, etc. And then having a bloodthirster as a centerpiece is super cool mm. and very narrative. So I love it. Go for it, man. Uh, Eldrad is going to doom the bloodthirster. The bloodthirster? Yeah. On the shelf? Mm. You know what he is. Demon Prince. But Demon they, Prince. Yeah, but Prince. But does he? But these people don't. Oh, he really didn't! <laughs> Fuck the hell out of I'm having a tough time, Eldred. <laughs> don't do that to me. Um, I'm going to shoot the Death Jester, would you believe? But he can't hear, can you he? shoot your own guy. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> and he's going to shoot the Demon Prince, Prince of Demons. Actually, no. I'm going to shoot the troop first that's next to him. At him. With two melty guns first, fusion, blap, 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 Right? They both hit. All right. Their strength eight, so it would be fives, because your toughness nine? Ten. Ten. No, I think I told you this a minute ago. Yeah. So fours. Why feel four? Oh, because doom. Because doom! One. Four up, invulnerable. Good. What's the damage of this thing? It is. D3, Melter 2. So I'm in Melter range. So minimum three. Yeah. And I have three wounds left. Do you? Or have you got... Have you got three or is it seven? No, it's three. Three. Yeah. Are you sure? So it's, yeah. So it's whether I re-roll oh, yeah, this or not. Oh, because it's six, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. So it's whether I re-roll this or not. Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, I have ten. You did six, and yeah. I took one from the explosion. Yeah. Yeah, so I've got three left. That's right. Mm. So do I re-roll this for a CP? I've got three. Yeah, why not? Keep them alive, innit? Four plus. You d- Four plus. Good. The fate, Yay! The fates say no. Have you got a feel no pain? I do. I should use this four. Six so damage. So it's... There's a D6 plus. Oh no, it's D3, isn't it? So that's four damage. That's two. That becomes two four, four damage. Yes. Yeah? Or do I... Oh, no, I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it for a biscuit. Eee! You got better! That's what you wanted. Yeah. Six ups. Just need, just need, not that. Oh, there we go. Zap. Does he explode? Oh. On a six. No. He does a bigger explosion than a floaty boat, mm. which would have been a problem. Uh, Action name Magnus just put into the into the the chat. He said sixty blood letters, thirty hounds, and nine blood crushers plus three blood masters. I mean, I love it. That's amazing. Yeah, I'm into it. I'm into you it. You just swarm the board. A yeah. super cool. and a bloodthirster. Not and forgetting so much well. red paint. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking love, I love corn. The masters. I love corn, Joe. The masters of dipping. Why is corn the best god? Oh, I should have pulled him uh, out of combat. That's, that's Papa Nurgle, clearly. And then, why would you, what? He loves us. Because then I can, I can spend, I can re. There is a CP to fall back and charge. Match, no, a feign retreat. Top left. Oh yeah, one CP. Fall back, shoot and charge. He's, yeah. He's doing them pink. So you spent a CP? Yeah, he spent a and CP. Because I, uh, I could go seven. Pink. Yeah, he's doing. He's uh, he said, uh, "Where is it gone? Where is it gone?" With he's doing them baby pink and calling them the newborn horde. Um, okay, I'm into it. That sounds fucking. Then cool. he's gonna. What gun has he got? Has he got a gun in his hand? What have you got? In your well, hand? Whatever you can take, Joe. He's got a fusion pistol, so he's gonna shoot that one guy. Hey, it's that one guy. I've hit you. I've you. I haven't wounded you, but I can re-roll it. You only need the three, Joe. Do I alarm you? <sighs> I am alarmed. You're a llama. I am, I am physically shook. <laughs> shook it. <laughs> um, the little troop unit over there is going to shoot uh, Mr. Rhino Pig. Oh, Lord Avocado. Yeah. Okay. So two fusion pistols. Both hit. Good. Good. Strength nine. Nine! Threes, because I'm T6. Both wound. I am Lord Avocado, so I do have a four up vulnerable save. Mm. Don't alarm you, but I fail one. D3 plus two. 
Oh, fuck off, I need a five. He's dead. Yay. Does he explode? I don't think he does, even though he's a demon as well. No. I do think having... <laughs> if you had full six-man units with two melter pistols in each, it's a bit dirty, isn't it, really? With fate dice. Yeah, zap, 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 zap. Um, I want fate dice are okay for fusion pistols. Not fate dice, the um, real hit, real wounds. Yeah, yeah, that's so. Uh, yeah, unparalleled mastery. That's quite cool. I'm going to shoot Mister the um, the Death Jester. The one I can't hear. Yeah, what? that one. He's going to take sustained hits three on the unit or on the eight bound or what? On the unit, Rhino. On the on the unit. Okay. All right. With Khan. All right, three sixes. I haven't got sixes in my fate dice, which is a little bit annoying. Just the one six, actually. I mean, so you've hit four times, though. But I get to re-roll. You do get to re-roll hit And a six will come. Right. <laughs> so it turns into nine hits from three shots. Right. <laughs> Fucking got a little MG on his shoulder, isn't he? Yeah. And it's strength six. Toughness four for the unit, sir. Devastating wounds. Yeah. Good net. We roll, wound roll. So that's two lots of two devastating wounds. And this one fails. That one fails. So AP minus one. Uh, la, 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 la. All right, Khan's units in cover. Yeah, because they're threes. Threes. So it's one, two, three, four, five. So the five what first. Three ups. <laughs> I mean, I made a good go of it, Joe. And then three up. Good. Okay. So four of them so far. Are possibly going to die. Yeah. Uh, so I will. First guy six ups. He's dead. Second guy six ups. <laughs> he lives. Second guy six ups. He's probably dead. That's two dead. Third uh, last guy six ups. Uh, he lives. The devastating wounds come through. Six ups. He dies. And then the final berserker six ups. He dies. <laughs> so Khan lives. Yeah. But you did kill the unit. Good job, Joe. Good job. Good job. Good job. Okay. Little Mr. Death Jester's pretty tasty, isn't he? I like the Death Jester. He's tasty. He's tasty than all Eldar army. I might bring him in future. I think you should. <laughs> Take three. <laughs> <laughs> the on only one can do that. In your shooting phase, one model from your army can do that ability. So I think if you take two, you've got a bit of redundancy. Yeah. Um, redundancy, yeah. What you'll be facing if you beat me with this army. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, got to do a bit of filler. Um, <laughs> exclamation mark LCA in the chat. Exclamation mark badge for tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, exclamation mark member, you fuckers. Are we going 10 till 3 tomorrow? Yeah. Five straight hours. We normally start at 10, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got an extra hour now because. Last we, week when you logged off, Kyle and I carried on for two more hours. We did ooh. six hours. Yeah. And then we won, so. <laughs> yeah, I okay. bet you kissed as well. Normally, yeah. Did, yeah. You, did you bath each other Via well? Bluetooth. Yeah, uh, yeah. Kyle bathed me and feeds me grapes at the same time. I'm better. Like an, em like an emperor. Yeah. <laughs> like the emperor, yeah. <laughs> the emperor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even being paid. <laughs> <laughs> he just does it for the love, Jay. Does he? Yeah. I bet he does. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> right, come on. I remember when I used to be the favourite. Yeah. Right. Um, 2019. I'm going to kill, <coughs> gonna kill some more stuff now. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. You haven't shot his guns yet. Yeah, but I want to. I need to. I want to go and take the objective off you. Look, Joe. It's here, off me. Joe, here it is. I, know, right. but I want to stab you. Yes. If you want to be back in the good books, you got to get on a Joe pad. No. So why? Why wouldn't he just shoot at the eight bound guy? He's got one wound left. Do you with me on fours? Fine. Re roll. Oh, so you hit me seven times because sustained. Mm -hmm. Strength six of fours. I mean, you're doing all right already. So just the four actually. The minus one. I'm in cover. So yeah. threes. Right, two go three, uh, so sixes. I've got. I, I thought one. you were going to double sixes. Then. <laughs> I only have one wound left. So he's dead. Look, look yeah. at that. See, and you can still go stabby stabby on Khan. Stab Khan in the eyeballs. See, I'm, I'm here for you, Jay. Um, I'm here for you. And one. I want to shoot these guys here. The bicyclets at the eight bound. Because if I proc a bunch of dev wounds on you, yeah, they're decent. Yeah. Yeah. Should we do that? So, eight shots because they're two each. 
from Mr. The Haywire Guns. Yeah, and I hit you on threes. You do. Look, I, I chose not to hit you. To, to give you you a seem chance. to be afraid, very afraid. Yeah. You've hit me five other times, though. Five times. I, I, a couple of sixes are going to be nice. You have to six. Yes. So I have to roll sixes. You do, absolutely, yeah. And I'm going to roll three sixes now. I reckon two, and then a reroll you'll probably get, because I know what you'll like. Three sixes. Yeah, I'm going to send two of them. Two of them, one. Just, just the one, just actually. the one, but then you'll get the other one here. But... No, yeah. okay. Just, just the one. So, just one. so one lot of... Six ups. Three. It's damage three. Oh, is it? I believe so. Hang no, on. He's dead anyway. I might be lying to you. He's dead anyway, Joe. He failed two. He's got two wins. Doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. And then Boaty McBoatface. <laughs> He's also two damage. He will and strength six. I'm going to shoot them. Because I struggled with them. The Berserkers. No, the the, the thick boys. The eight boons. We will. The thickest boys. Sustain three. Look at that. Ooh. So there you go. Nine hits with your six shots. Clearly the... Look the, at you waking up. The left flank. Fours. You know what well. Correct Amundo. Minus one, no cover this time. No. So I'm on fours. Okay, so three go through, so you Ooh, will probably kill a guy. Two. So the first guy is dead, and the next guy has got a single wound left. Look at you go. Look at you big dick in it. And then the remaining troop will shoot that one guy. Hey, it's that one guy. Two fusion pistols. Zap, zap. This might be the longest my eight bands ever lasted, to be fair. It Priest wounds. This is a hiding behind a wall. Yeah. Five up in vulnerables. He's probably dead, isn't he? Uh, Fusion pistols. I'm not. So so it's got one two, wound. Two D3. That's six. Plus four. He's ten damage. Yeah. Uh, do you want me to try and roll ten six ups? Nah, that's right. I mean, it would be a pretty pretty big internet miracle if I did it. I'll go viral. Mm. That was a very different shooting phase to the last one. Yeah, I mean... He's in range of the Berserkers. I might, I might try and chip off some Terminator. Oh, okay. Just the one Terminator, actually. Hasn't started well. <laughs> no. Threes, because I'm T5 this time. Ooh, baby. Three sixes. Dev wounds. Not dev no. wounds, Jay. Uh, I'm in cover. It could be. But I can't get better than a three up. No. Well, I can. It's, it's just a two up. I'm just... Charge face! Power blue! <laughs> Whatever that was, go. So, uh, the bikes are going to charge these dudes. Okay. Oh, you got to fight first, haven't you? Yep. This might be a terrible mistake. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're going to get fought next round anyway, Joe. <laughs> you went really close it's, to it's me. It's fight first or fight first, basically. So, my bike's Justin. Is he called Justin, is he? He is called That's Justin. a weird name for a clown. Hmm. Justin the Clown. Yeah. <laughs> he's always running late. He's always just in time. Right. Hey. <laughs> oh, I snorted. <laughs> <laughs> the troop is going to charge you as well. Oh, look at all these cool cards I have to get Five. rid of. Aren't you a bully? Uh, bully I mean, you bully. flat murdered half my army last turn. Yeah. That's fair. You're going to get no prisoners. You're going to max no prisoners and you've got assassination already. You've got all your points. All your points. Yeah, they're all in, Joe. It's fine. Get in there. Yeah, oh! My statue. Right. Uh, that troop master is going to have a go at Khan. He's in. He's in. He's, he's got his corn wants it. He's flying. And then the troop... <laughs> Sorry, I was... Defragging. Right, um, they're going to charge him as well. The closest one. Eleven. Is this unit here? Yes. And then the other unit's just going to stand there. Okay, right. cool. Right. So I get to go first with my Master Executions unit. Mm, how much CP do I have? Do I have a fight on death stratagem? You have two. Pile in that way. Um, you can pile in that way. You can pile in that way. You can pile in that way. There we go. Right, good. Uh, so one, two, three, four can do that. One. Okay, cool. Good. Right, we did lots of piling in and shenanigans. The master executions. Joe is going to fight first. Who's he going to attack? The unit with a character in it, obviously. Uh, I'm going to lightning fast. Are you sure? The. Have you got precision? No, but. Uh, 
I can reroll hits and wounds versus characters. Oh, I do have precision as well, yeah. I can reroll hits and wounds versus characters, and I've got dev wounds. I'll put it on Skyweavers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have one Berserker and the Master Executions to fight that unit, because one Berserker has to, because he's all the way out yeah. there. Is that a CP? For, for his lightning fast, yes it is. Yeah. The I'm other four can go to the bikes. So you're exploding six at the moment as well? Yes. Yeah. So, seven uh... attacks into, so five base, plus one for being a world eater, plus one for the Berserker Glaive, into the Troop Master's unit. You don't get plus one because I charged you. I get my normal plus one for having the Berserker Glaive. Yes. <laughs> I hit you on twos. Six is explode, and I can reroll the hit rolls. I'm not going to be greedy because I've already got a six. Yeah. So there you go. I've hit, I've hit you eight times. Corn really wants this. Mm. I am strength seven. Twos. Twos. We want sixes. And I can reroll things. Well, your damage is three, yeah? Yeah. So that's the troop master just flat dead. Realistically. Uh, you can reroll the wound rolls you just said. I can. I don't know how many I want to reroll. Let's not be greedy. Let's just reroll. You will be on twos. Just reroll all of them. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go for it. Do it. <laughs> it didn't get worse. worse. Right, itch. So the Troop Masters, these will go to the Troop Master. How many wounds is he? Three? Yeah, he's just, just dead. So one will go on the Troop Master, if he's three wounds. No, he's got, no, Troop Master's got four wounds. Okay, sorry. sorry. No, so he's dead. He's murdered. They and then on... fours. Three more get murdered. Good. Now the Berserker in the unit, I, I forgot I hadn't charged here because it was, he goes down to four attacks, correct? He does, he goes down to four attacks, Jay. Swing, swing, swing! <laughs> He's hit you six times, Joe. Mm. Now he is only, he is only strength five. So we need you on threes. Good. I always forget that the um, that, that guy is quite fast. Cool. What? On the troop. On the troops. On the troops. Yep. Two guys. Oh no, I'm gonna stick there. So two guys die, and then yeah. one guy's alive. Where's yeah, that one guy? The one guy actually lived. One guy lived. Now the rest of the berserkers, so one, two, three is 12 attacks into the bikes. Mm. And then the, the, the big chain blade thingy is three attacks. So these ones will hit you on threes, sixes explode. Mm. So I, I've missed five, but a six, six, five explodes. They hit you all of the times. Strength five, toughness four of a bike. Yes. So threes. <laughs> and your damage? One. I mean, that last is, that my magic sweet spot being minus one, though, so it's four up in vulnerables. Did you minus one to hit as well? No. Give me, give me one out of that. Because one of them was a three, the other five. Throw it on the floor. One of them was a three, the other five or sixes. So one dies. Oh. And then the big swinging dick with his three attacks. He'll hit you on threes, now fours. Thank you, Joe, for reminding me. Uh, no rerolls. And he will wound you on twos. He's wounded you. Minus two for two. <laughs> okay, your turn to fight somewhere. Yeah. Um, so I just fight over there. I'm gonna do. I've got Miss Staff Lady. Bonk on the head of Khan. Four attacks. He loves his shadow seer. That's his favourite. We want a hit roll. Please hit on two. I said she hit on twos, didn't I? You said she did. She does, yeah. I wasn't lying. I think all Queen characters do. Yeah. Threes. So I'm strength five. I am toughness four. So threes. Um, I'm not dev wounds, though. Ooh. Minus one. Minus one. Khan only has a three up save. Really? So he goes to a four up save. Oh, Khan. <laughs> uh, it's D3 damage. Is it? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what happens. Khan folds I've like used a my wet... fate dice already, so I might as well just roll them. Khan folds like a wet paper towel. So six, seven, seven. Six ups. Good none. none. Not a single one. <laughs> now the bonus with Khan is yeah. he has this rule. Where he explodes. Berserker friendly. Oh. Friendly? Yeah, <laughs> he's so friendly. friendly. <laughs> if this model is destroyed by a melee attack, if it has not fought this phase, do not remove it from play. It can fight after the attacking model's units has finished making its attacks and is then removed from play. Oh. So I'm going to get to fight you now. Ooh. Yeah. So what do I fight? I love the fact the reason I keep the, uh, tri the sh uh, Shadow Seer alive is because she's the hardest hitting character in the army. <laughs> so let's, let's fight the Shadow Seer because you can gobble off how much he likes her. Oh. Eight attacks, Jay. 
I hit you on the twos. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's because I've got. It's because I'm so misty. I've got my fog of dreams. She's like, fog, 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 fog. And he's like, ah. Four wounds, sir. Oh. You have precision, and I can't reroll those ones, chat, because he's not leading any. No, I don't have precision. No. Fours. He killed two. He literally murdered two elves on the way down. I love how a 65 point um, Master of Executions is just straight better than... Uh, Master of Executions is 100 points now. Is he? Khan is 100 points now. With the upgrade, with the enhancement, Khan, uh, the Master of Executions becomes a 20, 125 point unit. Wow. Um, and, um, and Khan's 100 points. So Master of Executions are just flat better than Khan. Oh, in every way. My bicyclettes. Bicyclettes. They call me Colette. Colette. There's not a lot on the table, Joe. One. It's been a bit of a murder fest, and we're only here after Two. nine. <laughs> Three. I think I saw in chat. Uh, chat. Um, Fifty gifted. Yeah. <laughs> what is your perfect Sunday? Um, <laughs> gifting twenty-five each. The best condiment for a Sunday lunch depends on the meat. All right. Best meat and condiment. Lamb, mint sauce. Done. Yeah, but you no might argument. go. Uh, lamb's my favourite meat, but I like apple sauce with my pork. You know, lamb mint sauce done. I like apple sauce with everything. I have apple sauce with chicken. I have it with lamb. I have a pork. I have a beef. You have apple. You are wrong. And I fucking love apple sauce. Beef is mustard. No. Yes. Horse mustard is for psychopaths. Lamb is mint sauce. Yeah. Pork is apple sauce. Yeah. Chicken is nothing. Gravy. Oh, obviously, the gravy goes on all of them, Joe. Or ketchup. Hot you sauce. can't have ketchup. You can't no. have ketchup with a roast. Chicken with hot a sauce. A Sunday roast because. Because you'll be ejected from the country. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, <laughs> apple sauce. <laughs> no, no! Lamb, mint sauce, done. You don't, there's no arguments here. This is not a democracy. I'll be honest, pork is my favourite for a Sunday lunch. I like lamb kebab. Why, like lamb, why do you like pork though? What? Is it just because of the, because of the crackling? The crackling. Right, have you ever slapped a, por a joint of pork? <laughs> I tell you what, I, I've never, never had the balls to you call have. that. I know you have. You look the kind of man that slaps pork. <laughs> <laughs> when I worked in the kitchens on a Sunday, they, you get the go to the fridge, get the pork out. Boosh! Do you want a drink, Slap. Kyle? Yes, please. What do you want? We, we, we make, it is so satisfying. We're making cans. Oh, then a can of a Fanta, please. All right, Joe. I can pop. I'll, mute me. I'll pop the kettle on. So, all right, Joe. There is some truth in what you say. A slap in the joint. Oh. I, I don't know what it is. Whenever I'd be prepped, like, I'd send, on a Saturday night, I'd send all my chefs home, right? And I'd just bash some <laughs> Cut a little up. hole in the pork. I'd just bash, <laughs> no, this is, honestly, this is, be, this is bare truth. Yeah. I'm opening my soul to you right yeah. now. Yeah, we are live on the internet, so. Yeah. Um, I would send the chefs home, and yeah. literally, I'd start prepping all the meats for the next day, because I yeah. want them to get a good night's sleep. Yeah. All right. And I would genuinely, every time, every, Bit of pork belly I get out. Yeah. So bear in mind, these are big fucking pieces of pork belly. Mm. Every bit of beef and every bit of pork or yeah. lamb, depends on what week it is. Yeah. Every time I'm there, like you do, do trim, 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 turn it around, <laughs> give it a little love tap. Give it a little slap. But sometimes, but after a while, I realized that actually, because I remember I went to another kitchen to help them repair their menu. Yeah. And I did it there as a joke. I slapped it, and my hand went through the fat. Oh. Because it had gone off. Oh. So. After that, I slapped every bit of meat. I know. I just do it anyway. And because it's just voluptuous. I did find them in Morrison's. In, you know, in the meat aisle. Just, it's just a little bit psh. voluptuous. I tell you, people, um, slap all the meat. If you find a bit of meat, slap it. I mean, I'm beating my meat right now. Yeah. So, why not? You know? <laughs> um, but no, pork is the best because crackling, crackling. A, obviously, applesauce is my favourite. It's got to be succulent pork. I, I don't like dry pork. Pork's does, dry. Anyone, does anyone like dry pork? Have you ever heard anyone say, do you know my what? My dog does. I absolutely love it when it's all crumbly. Yeah, my dog's like, mmm, pork. No, your dog's just like, mmm, sustenance. Yeah, what is this? <laughs> it's stuff. <laughs> my dog's like, mmm, carbonara. You know, it's just anything. <laughs> it's like, oh, I could have done with a bit more parmesan. Yeah, so, yeah. What is chat saying? Anyway, they responded to, uh, doesn't that, matter if it's a A lot of them are ag just agreeing with Liam, to be honest. What? A lot of them are just saying, a lot of them are just saying, Lamb with mint. There have been a couple of just apple sauce with everything. Yeah, if you agree with, with Liam, one gifted membership. If you agree with Joe, one gifted membership. Five gifted membership. Five, five, <laughs> I mean, I, 
<laughs> okay, there you go. Right, there's your options, chat. All right, I saw the, to the totals. They went last to get Joe's cap at 53 and f Joe, 44 quid in Super Chats. You've got to be more interesting. <laughs> Money! <laughs> I don't know what you want me to do. What do you want me to do? Just perform. I'll perform. get a little tin cup out. Ting, 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 ting. Yeah. yeah. I want you, I want to get Rusty to build some yeah. stairs in here and then you can do halfway up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> just just, just behind you. Where I sit. <laughs> Music video coming soon. Um, <laughs> Tiny Joe with his little cup. <laughs> yeah. I am um, talking about uh, banging my little cup. Our, our Thanes were really. You can't call her that. She's got a name, Joe. <laughs> the Thanes were very supportive to me. I went in there because obviously I'm doing my my uh, my white scars army. My Thane, our Thanes, not my Thanes, but <laughs> our Thane collectively. We're like, they've been really helpful, and I've got. All the bikes now. I did specifically say that you were only allowed in the only things if you didn't go in there begging. I gave it a couple of days. <laughs> <laughs> I gave it a couple of months, right? And I've basically got... Uh, well, my White Scars army now will be painted slowly because I've got so much to do. But and because layers and layers of white. But basically, I'm going to make it the Thanes army and all the things that have contributed to the army will get... Nameplates. Nameplates. Or from versatile terrain. Oh, that's a really yeah. good idea. I like that. Yeah. So, like Chris and Jill. The channel can pay for the nameplates, Joe. Yeah. 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 And all my much war bases. But it's just nameplates, isn't it? Just stick on the red on the rims, oh. don't they? I'll get, yeah, and I'm putting everything on march of war bases. So, I've got a load already. Kettle's boiled. Oh, how convenient. <laughs> oh, I bought Kyle France a coffee. Did you? That's fine. What do you think about that, Joe? I got a monster. Oh. So you get toys to paint, though. I do get toys to paint. That's my job. Yeah, it's kind. Of, yeah, I bought my Death Guard. Yeah, I bought all of, well, not all of my um, Soul <laughs> Black Grave Lords. I, I saw it in your head. Then you were like, I, no, because mm, no, because Liam contributed to us. He gave me, uh, he gave me forty zombies, Radagar the Beast, and five Blood Knights. Right. And the rest I sorted out myself. And then for the uh, the White Scars, obviously the Thanes contributed 18 bikes, three bike chaplains, wow. a contempt to Dreadnought, um, three heresy bikes, um, Terminator Librarian, um, and I also received um, the Warhammer Plus... Vampire lady, who I've built and done a head swap on already. Because I hate her head. Because she's yeah, either got the, this weird pointy horn hat or weird pointy hair. So she's basically moulded her hair to fit perfectly in her hat. Yeah. And it doesn't I make was, sense to me. I wasn't too It, it does make well. sense in the fact that she won't get helmet hair because her hair is the same shape as her helmet. Because, <laughs> yeah. She must go through a lot of wax, though. Hmm. Um, yeah, the things have been very good to me. The white. So, but the White Scars army will come and and it'll be on the channel and it'll be glorious. Um, it did help that um, currently uh, Outrider bikes Thank you. are garbage. Um, oh, that sounds good. Did you have me to me? I have now. You made me a cup of tea. Yeah. Oh. I thought you'd want one. And a three quarters of a cup. Well, I know you like for spilling it. I, uh, we were in Aldi, which is literally around the corner. Like coffee. And um, they had the fancy Nescafe Azira pots. Oh. oh. So mm. I was like, you drink a lot of coffee in here, and we've just normally got cheap shit Nescafe. So I bought fancy Azira for you. Thanks. Can I buy you a chaplain on bike? Just so that when you play with your fancy white scars, you have a model named after me? No, because I've got three now. Once I've stamped on one of the ones you've made, can I buy <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, you could you could get me uh, three heresy bikes, the jet bikes. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm using them as uh, Ravenwing, uh, Black Knights. Yeah, and you could be the chat. You could be the champion. What's the what's the members and super chat totals right now? Fifty four, and super chat is forty nine. Maybe we'll see. Yeah. I mean, that's not a strong. That doesn't that doesn't normally mean you're going to get three heresy bikes? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Or you could get me the Forge World Terminator guy. You could be him. 
Because I'll just do it my again. Way. I mean, that is a that is a cool model. Though. He's banging. He is. Currently, we haven't covered covered the cost of the people in here, so you know. Can you not? Can you not do that? ASMR. It annoys me, and I don't have like some of the people at home will be watching on headphones. Yeah, and yeah. I have really good quality. <laughs> headphones like that. On. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Kyle's got studio headphones on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 Bikes. Hit me now. These What's the damage of them? Two. One CP, no, two CP, minus one damage. Boo. Corn cares not. I've done a one CP car. Mm -hmm. Strength five, threes. That many, minus one. Fuck me. Everything in this force is minus one. I mean, this is consistent. So four goes through. Yeah. Which means four six up for no veins because yeah. I'm minus one damage. So one dies, one takes a wound. Yeah. Hey, it's that one guy. And then my sergeant, <laughs> who has totally had a power sword this entire time. Five attacks. <laughs> right. We <laughs> roll hit roll. <laughs> <clears throat> he gets plus one to wound. So he's strength four. Does he? Well, yeah, because he's. He's a Harlequin troop, isn't he? He charged. So he's winning. Oh, you yeah, on you threes. did charge. I forget because I fought first. Sorry, yes, you're correct. You did, you did charge. Two minus two. Uh, so fives. Damage one. Yeah. Sixes. Uh, so one dies, one takes a wind. Toit. And then, at the end of the turn, like a sexy hoover, they'll go back into here. Into that boat. Into my boat. Okay. And then they'll get into that boat. Whoop. Can they just do that all the time? Yeah. That's cool, isn't it's it? It's the, the rules for the Skyweavers. Yeah, it's called rapid embarkation. At the end of the fight phase, if there are no models currently embarked on within this transport, you can select one friendly Harlequin's infantry unit for, that has six or fewer models that is wholly within six inches. Six inches is mental. That's, That's huge. Mental mental wholly within, though, is... Yeah. It's interesting. And so you have to park <coughs> next to... Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, unless that unit is within the engagement range of one or more enemy uh, units, it can embark within the transport. Mm. That's good, that. I like it. So it keeps your expensive, yet incredibly shit troops alive for a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm done now. He's done now. I finally got assassinated. <laughs> He's finally got assassinate. He and killed all three characters in one turn. Yeah. Five, So yeah. five points for assassinate. Mm -hmm. And he got five on no prisoners as well, because he's killed enough units. He's Ooh. done well. He's done good today. <clears throat> Good stuff. We like it. Well, it is turn three. Right. I think I hold this objective now. Well, Berserkers are two each. So, troops are one OC. That one guy is one. But my bikes, the Skyweavers, are OC two. Yeah, but I've got a Rhino and four Berserkers. So I've got three, three guys. So, it's... so I've got eight Six. plus the Master of Executions. So you do hold it. I've got yes. nine. <clears throat> yeah, so I hold my home objective. Excuse me, hang on a minute. <clears throat> I hold my home objective, I hold which is two. I hold one in no man's land for five with seven, and I hold Joe's for six. Mm. So I have 13 primary points. But before we get too deep into that, show me your cards, Kyle. Okay, you get behind enemy lines and investigate signals. I mean, you've got behind enemy lines already. So one CP, discard investigate signals. Because <laughs> I hate actions. Okay, area denial, that's worse. Because you've got to get in the middle, aren't you? Which is like here. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, in, it's literally this corner here. Okay, I can do it. Because it's wholly within six, I'll just park the, that rhino there. Mm. And I'll do it. Yeah, agreed? Yeah. yeah, good, okay. And then you're out of six, so we're good. Okay, that is a good draw. I'll take that, thank you kindly. Mm -hmm. We're going to get into my movemento phase mm -hmm. Um And yeah, we'll start playing some whams. And we can say thank you for the 46 gifted memberships. Siege Roots, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Siege Roots! <laughs> Kazarian, thank you for the super chat. And he says, <clears throat> Corn is best for he cares not for but No, hang on, let me read that again. Corn is best for he cares not about how or why. Just that we do. Kill, that is. Corn is best. You are right, sir. Well, questionable, but yeah. Where'd they come from? This rhino. There's five in each rhino still. Oh. Yeah. How convenient for how you. Convenient for Corn Ed, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Love you, Cornet Ed. Alex Gourlay, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Cornet Ed, thank you for another gifted membership. Christopher Sanford, thank you for the super chat. He said, Joe's dance lesson fund, five pounds. 
<laughs> I think he needs more than that, mate. Uh, Mordy Hammer, thank you for the 10 gifted memberships. Jacob Ward, thank you for the one. They've got people in it? No, empty. Beef Swellington, thank you for becoming a hearse here all by yourself. <laughs> That's name. a fucking great name. <laughs> yeah, thank you for becoming a hearse here all on your own. And the hybrid, thank you for a super chat, five pounds. And he says, chilling, eating a takeaway, watching you mad lads. Mad lads. Also, mad. any chance of a 24 hour hobby stream on Switch? I mean, if we were going to do something like that, we'd, we'd have to all be sat together I mean, to keep each other awake, wouldn't we? I would do it in here because Can you, I wouldn't a, want to do it at home. That's actually quite a good idea, actually. We all yeah, we could do it in here because we could use Top Down for hobbying. I've got the, um, the company that made the table. I've got them. I need to speak to them, actually. I've got them building a topper. Right, so you see where we've got this, this ridge, you guys can't see it, where the holes like the dice tray in. It clips into the ridge and goes over the top of the table. Mm-hmm. So it protects side. it from, yeah. yeah, so you see the ridge that we've got in here. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So this thing here is like a runner in this gap here. You can see it's got a lip to it, right? Yeah. It's what holds the cup holders, it's what holds. So if I take this little tray here, go back to that camera angle, Mr. Kyle. If I got a little tray here, right, these things sit inside the tray and then they come out again. And you just, like, that's how we get our cup holders in, right? So I've got them building one that clips onto that rail and then covers the top of the table to protect it. So if we're painting, it doesn't damage our main table. Yeah. Because it, that makes sense, right? Mm. Um, so we can remove the dice tray, clip that on, and then Joe and I can sit here on stoles, or, Joe, or Kyle and I, all three of us actually, with a top-down camera and lots of camera angles, and we could do hobbying on Twitch and stuff yeah. in front of a big chat. We've got, we have the option to do that in the future. That's a really good idea. Because at the moment I'm only twitching from home right now, but I want to bring it in here and make it bigger and fancier. Once we've got that topper, I'm more inclined to go for a 24-hour stream on Twitch and do that kind of thing. Yeah. The problem is at the moment, for me personally, speak, speaking straight up and being completely honest, I'm currently keeping doing Twitch for one for two reasons and two reasons only right now. The first one is Twitch is paying me a monthly fee right now, which is due to expire at the end of this month. We have a meeting sometime soon about extending it. Yeah. The second reason is it's the only reason at the moment my hobby mojo I think is so high. Well, no, it's one of the reasons why my hobby mojo is so high. I have to Twitch. I've got yeah. so much hobby done, I've been enjoying it. So at the moment I'm going to consider I'm considering keeping it because my hobby mojo is so high and I'm really enjoying the hobbying and I'm considering binning it because it doesn't make any money. <laughs> Outside of Twitch paying me the monthly fee, Twitch revenue is flat shit. Yeah. I don't know how people have made the living on Twitch for so long. It's flat shit. Bath water. Probably, Joe. Yeah. Selling bath water and pants. So you need to start having more baths. <laughs> Yeah. I want a deep bath. I, I, know your job. I know your job, Joe. <laughs> okay, right. I am debating. I'm mass- massively <laughs> debating something. Yeah. Mr. The Warhips is in the chat, and you just said 24-hour streams are rough. I mean, I did 24-hour shifts in the army. I don't feel like it would be that bad. I've done many. Yeah, but... Uh, and if there's more than one of you, because I think what Mr. Warhips did on his own... There's more than one of you in the room, and we can cycle out making coffees and shit. I think it'd be so more what, manageable. This is what, as soon as I read it, I thought that. I thought, I, like, say the three of us, or even like more, doing it all together. You, you keep each other awake and like. Yeah. You, if you're just sat there for 24 hours like this with a bit of plastic, like all that yeah. paint fumes going up your nose, yeah. like. Yeah. Stop huffing it then, mate. Ah, oh, but I like it. Cool. Ooh. I can't. So I can't disembark. And then move past you because un- I know it says it in a white dwarf article once, but when you make a mo- when you make it don't I know it says it in a basic training white, uh, white dwarf article once, but when you make a basic move, you can't move with an engagement range of an enemy model, Joe. You're not actually allowed to do that, mm. despite what some people have said. So I can't actually disembark and then move past you mm. because your little base, I would have to move with an engagement range, and I can't finish the move over. Like, I, ha- I can't. It's a pain. I'm just going to play it safe and be there. Yeah. Well, okay. I press the button and close the door. <laughs> There's no door in it. You're oh. fine. You fucked that part when you built the table. Cool. So I've done all my moving. There's not a lot to do. Not a lot to do. Is the um... I'm tempted to uh, phantasm. Phantasm. We have uh, some members master. in the chat want to send some stuff. Where can they find the PO box address? We have a PO box address. It's in the video description. In the, right? in the apparently description. It's not, apparently, it's not. What PO box? F- Four three one. It should be the video. It's in some of the video descriptions below. Yeah. If not, I think it's in the Discord server. Someone's got a converted grav outrider. They want oh. to send in. Um, I'm going to. <coughs> you expect to see people phantasm? Phantasm on my boat. Ooh. One, two, 
Fuck. 100% better than last time. It is really it? murdered Phantasm, Jay. Ma Phantasm is pointless. Do you know what's mad, right? Is they've given it to Drakari. And flat six. And it's flat six. It was seven throw that before. Ooh. I mean, I wasn't going to attack it anyway. So, no, but... Uh, cool. Be scared! Is the um, little murder clown with the big gun, is he like a lone up or anything? He is a lone up, yeah. So I can't shoot him unless he's within 12? No. You're in 12. I don't think I am, mate. You are. With one? Three. Three of them? Yeah. So three of them are going to shoot at the little, mer the little man, the other two are going to shoot at Eldrad. Mm. So some storm bolt is coming at you. If I'm within 12, I'm within rapid fire range. You ready for this? You're ready Shooting for this. with world eaters. What could go wrong, chat? Pew pew. I mean, it wasn't great, but yeah. it wasn't bad. It was mathematically who, who perfect. Is that? The, the little murder clown. Oh, the death jester. Jester of death. Yeah. Toughness three? Yeah. Three storm bowers for the win. Okay. This okay. is most definitely enough to kill him with his four wounds. Yep, if you roll like that, it is. Yeah. <laughs> The other two are not in rapid fire range of L of the Drad, so I'll hit you on not those three, and they'll wound you on. He's toughness four, not that one. Oh. Cool. Okay, waste of shots. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, but they couldn't shoot with the murder clan, but they didn't need to because he's dead now. Um, he got his points back earlier. So, so. we're near uh, the, the three berserkers left. Two of them. Why not? They'll have plasma pistols. They'll shoot into the murder clown. Yeah. I'm not overcharging. Clearly, you should. Strength seven. Two wounds, Jay. No, AP good. So four up in runs into the little man with his power sword. He dies. Very good. There we go. Okay. Over here, the two plasma pistols into the troop master. It's got up to two damage of overcharge, don't they? Yes. I'm not overcharging. One hits. One wounds. <laughs> One wounds. Down to two wounds left. Uh, two. Yep. Just boop. Like that. Into the charge phase. The Berserkers will charge the Troop Master. I have made it within five inches. Lovely. So I have to surround you because I have to surround you. Like a crazy world eaters on murder clown bukkake party. Yes. Makes sense. These ones are going to try and charge the floaty boat. Yeah? And I've made room. <laughs> You're not within three. No. You're I'm going to reroll that. CP. I'm going to reroll that for a CP. Oh. Yeah! Corn wants it. Eight. You're in. You're in. You're in. And then the Terminator, the Terminator angry men are going to charge the boat. They charge the other boat. And guess what? You're in. They make it, Joe, with a three. <laughs> Don't put me off that objective. I've only got a three-inch charge. Good. Okay. Now, you spent a CP on Phantasm. Mm. You should be down to one. Good. Nah, why not? Nah. So I'm going to fight with this unit over here first. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Uh, and we're going to hit you with my big axe first. Mm. Big axe. Hits you four times with explodings. Big axe. Wounded you four of the times, Joe. AP two for two. On my one guy? No, on that one guy. He's, He's dead. dead. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me that guy. The, that's how the Harlequin is like, just roll fours all the time. Okay. Now the Terminators, Terminators, they get to have a go now, and they've all got accursed weapons. Uh, apart from the champion. Oh, I, fought, I fired five stone balls, so we'll just go accursed weapons on all of them, right? So one, two, three, four, five, plus one each for charging. Mm. Isn't that right? 25 attacks from Terminators. Goodbye, Star Weaver. We knew thee well. What's my special ability? Oh no, I, don't, I just get to add one to hit Rolf, it's behind, below starting strength. Yeah. So these all come, oh my god, these all come out, but those four go back in because exploding sixes from it. Strength seven on the charge, so three's to wound you. I mean, you might live. I might. They're all four ups, because I'm minus two. Yeah. I didn't count these. 
You're okay. One, two, three, four. He's got two left. He's got two left. He lives against Terminators. Huh. Who knew? The chain fists would have been interesting. Why do why did World Eaters Terminators power fists sit on fours? I hope they've got FAQ'd. Hmm. They should hit on threes. Yeah, I hope they've got FAQ'd. Right. The berserkers over here are gonna attack the floaty boat. Yeah. Five attacks from Miss, four attacks from Mr. the Big Axe Man. Mm. Threes, sixes, explode. Six hits. Strength uh, ten. Yeah. Threes. I got cocky. Mm. <laughs> two for two. Fours. Yeah. Okay. Finally, I started making saves. And I've got 20 attacks left of this unit. Threes. Six explode. I feel like Harlequins need a bigger boat. We're going to need a bigger boat. Um, I'm doing my best. That holds shit. 11 to 12 people like a raider. Because the units themselves currently aren't big enough to kill anything. Yeah, but they can just take a wave serpent. Can they? Yeah. They can just take wave serpents. Yeah. They're Eldari book now, aren't it? Like you yeah. just take Eldrad. Take a wave serpent and put, ten, put the Harlequin unit in it. Have we got any wave serpents out back? Uh, yeah, three. In the blue scheme of the Aldar. Oh. I'm spraying them purple. Um, <laughs> fours for my butt. Take what? three. Three. You live. Now the Master of Executions unit also fights first. Because he still has. Fights first. Um, one CP minus one to hit. You don't get rerolls, so. These are threes to hit. Which go to four. No, two to hit, go to threes. Yeah. Six is explode. So I hit you seven times anyway, even with your minus one to hit. Do you want to do that CP? Nah. Uh, strength is something that's less than this, but more it'll than be, that. It'll be threes, I imagine. Master of X. I think he's strength six, but he might be seven. He's strength seven, so threes. Well, that's a dead one, because it's dev. That's a dead one. These three are minus a number that puts you on your invulnerable saves. I throw one on the floor. You throw so many dice on the floor tonight, so Joe. three, yeah. yeah. So, two. One's. So broken. One's so. So two are dead so far. Two are dead. Because they're three is, damage. One each. is alive. And then I've got my berserkers. So the guy with the big axe. He hits you five times with his three attacks. <laughs> Strength nine. So it's twos, isn't it? Strength nine. Yarp. Three, please, mate, at minus two. Minus two for two damage. For two damage. Two damage. He's fine. He's dead. Good. Your boats can butt me back. My boats. Well, the good thing is, I don't need this card anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, my troop master is dead. He is dead, yes. That's correct. I murdered the murder clown. Murder. So I get four attacks. Uh, so here into the berserkers. Oh. Oh, reroll, hit roll. Yeah, you can. You can do that. That's the thing. Yeah. That's the thing you can do. Uh, I am a mighty strength three. Oh, Liam, this is some good ass coffee. It's nice, isn't it? Oh, move. Just the one, actually. <laughs> yeah. It takes a wound. Take though. a wound. Uh, this is into the Shermanators. Oh God. Ooh. Fives. Nope. End of my turn, Kyle! I score behind enemy lines for three, because I have nice. one unit in enemy lines, mm. and area denial for the big five. Oh my god. Liam yeah. 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 It is turn four. It's going about as well as you'd think. It's a tie. I, I was surprised when you said you wanted them. I, I The problem is they just fold. Yeah, so so I, I, what I really want to do nowadays at the moment, uh, I, I, ha I will play other armies, I will keep playing Guard, and yeah. I'll keep playing Eldar and stuff like that. What I really want to do is I want to play Dark Angels, 
and I want to play World Eaters. Yeah. Right, so imagine how hard the Harlequins have bar- bump- bumped off of World Eaters. Imagine yeah. if they were Dark Angels. Yeah. <laughs> With access to Armour of Contempt if you're AP1 everywhere. Uh, so, I have my blessings of the Blood and Garden. Even though you're, you know, you're, you're getting creamed, does it not feel nice just playing an army that you don't get to do it very often? It is nice to play something different. Like, obviously, I've not played Harlequins in two whole editions, but um, it's different. It's like, obviously, playing it, I'm like, oh, I could do this, I could do this, I know what I'll do next time. In seriousness, having watched you play with them, yeah. I do actually think that Harlequins is an army that now I'd be more comfortable playing. Yeah. So I had the Harlequins experience in ninth, but I'm currently having with main Eldar, Craftwild Eldar in 10th. Yeah. So when I started playing them in ninth, we, we showcased them on the channel on a stream when I first yeah. took them, and Winters came down for a stream, and I warned him repeatedly about the power of the book. He went, that'd be fine, that'd be fine. And I was like, this is my army, this is what I'm taking, this is Harlequins, and he bought an all-Space Marine bike army and was tabled in two turns. Yeah. They were fucking insane. And that was the, th- I was like, maybe that was a one-off. No, no, they were just mad good. They were yeah. so, I mean, you guys saw it, right? They were so incredibly strong. Apart from Brom, we went one and four. I, I like to keep bringing that up. Um, <laughs> and then they got nerfed, 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 and they weren't too bad at the yeah. end. They were kind of more like where they should have been. Um, Eldar now in 10th is that kind of experience, yeah. right? They're still ridiculous now, I think. I, I think, like, knowing how they play, I'd, I'd be happy to bring them again. Yeah. Knowing the limitations and where to put things and what to do. Like, we do, it does need a few extra things. They're not very... meant. I would add another Skyweaver and another unit of five guys. Five guys. Because then I've got six units. Yeah. Six units of five. Um... I'd add another troop master, so then you've got three troop masters, maybe another shadow seer, and then two more bikes, so then you've got three units of four. more points than you need, then, isn't it? Though? I know, but then it's a case of like, it's not loads of points. That'd put us like a that probably puts us like two thousand two hundred. Yeah, yeah. But at least you can swap stuff in and out then. Yeah, probably a second death jester as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so, cool. Well, all right then. My go. What secondaries are you going to do me over? He's so with cheerful today? right now, chat. Well, so I'm going to give you investigate signals and engage all oh, fronts. Fuck. I mean, that's not kind. I can get in. You I get can engage get engaged. Really engage really easy. Uh, one CP. You can get investigate signals really easy, Joe. Actually, no, because I have to fall out of combat and you can't do it. Oh yeah, you can't fall back and shoot anymore, can you? No, the Harlequins. Yeah. <laughs> so can I? Sack off investigate signals for why? What is your issue? It's random. <laughs> what have I done to deserve this, Kyle? Being a little bitch. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. Um, that's where we are now. That didn't go well for him, chat. <laughs> <laughs> right. We're going to go for big engage this turn. Uh, just Kenneth. Thank you for becoming a Hoseer all by yourself. Cosa. Thank you for the five gifted memberships. Just Kenneth, thank you for one gift of membership. Uh, Street Spirit, thank you for the super chat. And they say, sorry I'm late, been busy dealing with Chimera spam with an attempted assimilation swarm list. What have I missed? And they also did five gift memberships as a, as a late fee. What amazing legend. What yeah. was the question exactly? Uh, so I'll read it again. Sorry I'm late, been busy dealing with Chimera spam with an attempted assimilation swarm list. What, okay. ha- what have I missed? Um, Joe... Joe likes playing Murder Death... Elves last week, and he tried it with a different type of murder death elves, and it hasn't gone as well. That's mm. what you've missed. Um, Pretty much. But um, Chimera spam is a new one. I've not heard of that one for a while. And I the, like... five, the five gifted. To be clear, to be fair, Carl, the five gifted because it's oh, I'm late, and there's a late fine. Everyone keeps telling me they're late. And I keep saying, don't tell me you're late, because then I'll fine you five gifted memberships for being late. And there's the rules. Yeah. If you're late and you weren't like this, you weren't as honest, and you didn't give five. I don't know why I'm doing this so difficult when I could just walk around. Um, Eldrad, where are you going? Run away! <laughs> go run way. away, run away! Who are we going to doom? Doom! We're going to doom that unit of berserkers, is what we're going to do. Your doom has okay. come. Yeah. You are. Done. You've doomed me. Um, how much CP have I got? One. one. So one of those boats that fell out of combat can shoot. Well, he wasn't in combat, he wasn't in combat, so it was one of those two. Yes. I'd do be- I need to shoot? I Really? Are you doing any actions? You can't, can you? Because no. I hold all the objectives. I mean, that one could start doing the action. 
In the hope that you kill enough berserkers yeah, to get yeah. a cleanse. Um, yes, that's what we're going to do. So yeah, we've doomed them. So then if that one can't do the action, he might as well fall back and shoot for a CP, surely. Yeah, but you might kill... Two damage. Two, some berserkers. He might, yeah. What he might not as well. Trees? It's probably not worth it, Joe, with the amount of berserkers there actually, to be honest with you. I know. I'd rather keep the CP, I think. Yeah, I'd keep the CP. Um, so yeah, shooting phase. Uh, these, this guy here is going to shoot into... Actually, no, we'll start over there. So, two fusion pistols into Berserkers. By the way, I got sustained and for a pain steel. Missed both times. Uh, but I re-roll a hit roll. Fuck. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but that re-roll, hit roll, re-roll, one roll's really broken, Joe, remember? Yeah. You keep moaning about it. Neuro Disruptor. Good. Anti-infantry, two plus. Good. Right. Zero AP, one damage. One takes a wound. Good. Um, Eldrad, what, have, what, did, what, what who are the, you? What about the, what about the over the thingy, the hallucinant grenade launchers? Does it not still have hallucinant grenade launchers? No. No, it doesn't, does it? No. Well, they just got shitter as well, didn't yeah. they? Uh, Eldrad's gonna uh, mind war. Mind war you. Good. This one shot. He missed. He missed, but he is an elf. Is an elf. Right. Anti-infantry, four plus. It's strength five, so wound you on a three anyway. But four plus is dev. But I wound you on a two, because it's plus one. But well, a four plus is dev. Is that capturing that unit? Nope. Um, D6 damage. <laughs> Fucking hell, Eldrad. <laughs> you kill a guy. I kill a guy. <laughs> Eldrad <laughs> is contributing in the most... Minor way possible. Um, <laughs> this guy here is going to shoot into the, into the building. Uh, six shots. Uh, I get seven hits. Uh, twos, unless you're toughness four. I'm toughness jackal, which is three. So six at minus one. Uh, I don't have a safe. Oh. I do, however, have fear no pain. Two damage each. So the first one, okay, so uh, in that case, I'll roll all the filler pains yeah. and I'll re-roll successes. Mm. So five ups. I make three. Followed by five ups. They've got five up filler pains. Yeah, they have six base. And then because I gave myself six up, they get plus one. Oh. So five die, and then one doesn't. Right then. Two fusion pistols. A hit and miss, but I re-roll a hit roll. This is uh, two minus many, uh, D6 damage, or D3 plus, no, so just, just the one damage. Yay! And three normal pistols, is there three of them? Uh, there's yes. five in total, yeah. So yeah, one hit, one wound, a shirkin pistol is minus one. Oh. Cool whip. Cool. Um, and that's it. Charge phase. Uh, these guys are charging to those guys. It's long now. It's long now. It is six inches long now, Joe. See, so six. You made it with a seven. Oh, there, was a, there was a gamble there. I'm going to pick these up right. Yeah. Mm, I don't got... know. You have had a Harry Von Whiffington so far, yeah. but... You should murder uh, him. Miss Staff Man into those berserkers. They're, They're in. in. And then Eldrad's going to go for a massive YOLO. I mean, he's okay in combat. He's only infantry 2+. plus. What do I need? I'll give it to you on a 6, if he makes it. I can't decide if it's a 6 or a 7, so we'll give it to you on a 6. A I mean, 10. It doesn't matter. You're in. How much CP does Mr. Deleon have? Two. 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 Farts for Joe. Shit. <laughs> Right, how... So jackals are shit in combat. Good, good, good. Jackals, I have three normal jackals left, right? Which have jackal chain blades. All right, I'll go over here with my troop, all right? So my shadow seer, who's been the absolute hero of the ages, who is getting shit done. He, he's done all right, isn't he? Wounded on twos. 
Strength six, is he? Well, he's strength five, but I get plus one to wound. Because doom. Because doom. AP one? AP one. One fight, one fails. Oh, for fuck's sake. D3 damage. He could do it. Two sixes. He killed a guy. He killed a guy. He killed a guy. And then, the troop, where well, the guy's definitely had a power sword the whole time. <laughs> it's on threes. Oh, no. Uh, Reroll one. Good. Two hits. Uh, he's only strength four, so fours to threes. You haven't rerolled a wound yet. You can, you can do it. Way minus two. I fuck myself. Right. <laughs> um, four attacks from the other guy. Hey, is that one guy? Ooh, three hits. Threes. Oh shit on it. That, gonna... Two CP interrupt. I literally, I had the window open ready. I knew it was oh. coming. I think I'm going to interrupt with that unit and just try and beat off Eldrad. Makes He's sense. got four wounds, isn't he? He's got four wounds or five wounds? He's got five wounds. I think I'm going to beat off Eldrad. Mm. Oh. Because the is... Jackal, so the Jackals get six attacks with the three of them, with sustained hits one, hitting fours at strength three, AP nothing, one damage. So I think I'm just going to try and beat off Eldrad and keep the Berserkers alive. Okay. Uh, because if I can kill Eldrad, yep. they definitely live. So I'm going to start off with my... Two Berserkers into Eldrad, yeah. of which I only have eight attacks, actually, Joe. This actually might not go so well, because the two damage weapon has to go into the Elves, because I can't pile yeah. in that way. That's a strong start. My eight attacks, one comes out, three goes back in, turned into ten hits. Yep, yep. I'm strength five. On toughness four. Your toughness Eldrad, so I'm going to wound you on threes. So seven wounds, Joe. If you can, Good. If you can fail five of these four ups. All fours. I mean, I he fell three. three. That he's wasn't got, enough. He's got two left. He will live. It was worth a go. The other big swingy chain axe man will swing into the swingy stick bonking lady. Yeah. That is how you explain 40k to people. He hits twice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and strength nines is twos. I wound you twice. Ooh. Four up. One clown is dead. And then I'm going to put this in. <laughs> Just because I, I don't want the unit to die. <laughs> and then... Um, you, you're, you can... I'm gonna, do you want me to pick these three up? Hang on, I'll do the two the, the, the normal guys first. One, two, the, two. They have toughness three, no save. Three, four, and then so, lead a man. I hit you on threes. Reroll. Because there's every chance I will absolutely... I don't believe you will, mate. Just this. You wound me on threes. Twos. Twos. So strength four, they get plus one to wound. Oh, they get plus one to wound because they're a troop, yeah. yeah. So twos. I keep thinking it's the troop master that gives them that. Well, you've, ta you've taken all those dev wounds. Does the troop master not the one that gives them dev wounds? You don't get any dev wounds. Because um, the troop master's not there. I have no saves. No. These are all fill no pains. All five up fill no pains. If I just keep dropping dice on the floor, mm. they're, they're all, all failed. No, 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 no. Mm. Fives. <laughs> I, I died. <laughs> How many did you throw on the floor? Like six. <laughs> you pick those up later. Just saying. No. I'm on this objective now. Well, it's about time we start scoring some primary points, Joe. I know, right? I'm really enjoying just being murdered all the time. Eldrad, all right? He is three attacks, I think? He is. Poopy attacks. Three attacks. In on twos. Never misses an opportunity. Right, good. What do you do with your staff of Ulthramar? Anti-infantry two plus. Anti-infantry two plus. Well done, Eldred. <laughs> I get to re-roll roll one for free. <laughs> and then I'll CP re-roll one. That was my CP. AP two? Ape. AP one? AP one. One goes three. Damage? Two! No fun pain, you murder old guy. Good. Eldrag killed a berserker in melee. That's pretty good for an elf. Who's not really a melee elf. Yep. That is the end of Joe's turn. Fucking hell. That was hard work to kill three berserkers. What's the OC of Eldrad? 
So the troops are one each. Eldrad is one. The Shadow Seer is one. The Star Weaver is one. So you've got four OC. I've got four OC. Yeah. So you don't hold the objective, no. do you? <laughs> this army is shit. What, what do you have for cleanse? <laughs> Nothing. <Right. laughs> you did friends. get a big engage, though. I got big engage. So five, five points on engage. I think you're in danger, sir. Fuck me, dead. Jesus. Um, they do need a battle shock test, though. Turn Berserkers. four. Well, yeah. well, yeah, because it actually cleanse finishes in your next command phase. Does it? Yeah. Okay. So if I fill my battle shock, mm. then you actually will successfully cleanse. So we're going to um, once you've got pass it. Uh, and then I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it ends. I'm pretty sure it ends at the end of the turn. No, I think it's your command phase. If you, I think so. If you hold it at the end of your turn, I think you. <coughs> Does not matter? Card me, bitch. Oh. Deploy teleport home out and secure yeah. no man's land. Yeah. Okay. I mean, all right, cool. We can do that. And primaries? Primary, I have five plus six for 11. 11. 11. Mm. 11. <laughs> uh, you what can turn, is it? You can pineapple scene, Joe. It's my turn four, so it's bottom of turn four. All right. Right, into the movement phase. So, Brian Garrett, thank you for the one gift of memberships. Um, Chat's been pretty quiet, so I decided to ask him what army would they like to see on the table more of. Would, would you like to hear what they, what their opinions are? Go on then. So we have. No, I don't care. Okay. <laughs> Ignore anyone that says Votan, because they're boring. Orcs. Yeah. Sisters. Oh, actually, I need to bring them again soon. I'll do them next week. Necrons. Ugh. Ugh. Eddie's here next week, actually. He is. For we'll our do, we can do sisters Necrons. Yeah. Be fun. Uh, sisters again, Deathwing. We have Deathwing. We get them all the time. Jotan. Ugh. I've been pushing him to run Jotan, chat. It's he has. He really has been pushing me, but yeah. I just find Votan really boring. Like I have to bite the bullet and run them at some point, yeah. but they're just not an enjoyable army. Uh, mixed Demons of Chaos. Yeah, yeah. Paddy, Paddy, Paddy's, Paddy's been talking doing about those. it. Paddy has a lot of demons now. Yeah. If you, do you see his shelf? Paddy's got a great list, which is Bellacore, and then one of each greater demon from each faction, and then one of each unit. Yeah, Grey, um, Grey Knights. Yeah, we don't have. We currently don't have a Grey Knights army. Grey Knights currently suffer from the fact that their entire model range is old kits and really small. They're all babies. They're all like baby marines. Yeah, but it's also like it's in the range itself is really small. If they yeah. do a Primaris Grey Knight update, I'll do it. I don't think they need to. They just need to do. Do yeah, they do? Do you know what? Do, Who's the leader? Who's the guy with the sword? The, the, the Lord Crow. Oh, yeah. Mr. Grey Knight. Yeah, Grey Knight <laughs> Crow. Mr. the Grey Knight. Birdman. <laughs> oh, hey, right. it's that one guy. That <laughs> yeah. one Birdman guy, right? He, um, <laughs> if they just, because he's not Primaris, he's just thick. One chunky With three boy. C's, yeah. right? All they need to do is upscale the Marines to be Space Marine scale. Which oh, is right, then. So chat, put a one in the chat if you want Grey Knights to be the, the Space Marines that I do, or two, if you would like something else to be the next Space Marine army. I think um, that goose that was announced yesterday. Goose? Warcom. Warcom. Because there's an announcement in a week's time? Two weeks' time? Do I have a CP on my zero? For, You're on zero. Because it's like Warhammer World Day, isn't it? Warhammer World anniversary. I don't know, Joe. I so saw a goose. They showed a, picture, they, showed a, they showed a picture of a goose and they're saying, like, guess what this is for? I think it's for either Bretonians or Cities of Sigma. That's my guess. But what if it's Grey Knights? A goose? Yeah. What if there's like a Grey Knight and with he's the, trying to with catch a fucking goose? goose. Yeah. I have, I have. <laughs> just, just the one swan, actually. Yeah. He's like, it's a, it's a, it's a model and, and basically. Uh, there's a la there's a land raider and he's trying to shoo the goose into the land raider. Mm, wow. You don't know. I saw that goose everywhere and I have no idea how I would ever think that's relevant to any model in Gaze Workshop ever. It'll be something silly, wouldn't it? Like it's not. I, be, it, I reckon it's like an anniversary model or something. Yeah, probably. I'll probably just say I wasn't um, interested. I then asked them about uh, Age of Sigmar armies. What kind of oh, yeah. ones would they be excited to see? Oh, and they the people did say Death Guard as well. And they all gifted ten memberships. Yeah. Um, mm. Uh, so the armies I said is <laughs> that, mm, didn't feel we were confident there, Kyle. <laughs> da Daughters of Cain. Okay, that's mm. sexy. Yeah. Oh, I love Daughters of Cain. They're yeah. a great range, but they're very expect like monetary wise to to get the kits. 
They're mad expensive yeah. to put on the table. Fire Slayers is another one. Got them for Army. We got them for that. Ready to go. Oh, Gene Stealer Cult was one they asked for. They're not in AOS. No. But, <laughs> I, I, I want to do Gene Stealer Cult. Um, Eddie's decided he's doing them now, isn't he? Yeah, so expect 2035. Yeah, expect them in. Yeah, expect them in a long time and not the same colour as our Tyranids, which grips me. Uh, by the way. <laughs> Beast of Chaos is another one they're, they're looking at. Yeah. Mm. Um, Dave B said he, he wants Sylvaneth versus Grave Lords. Okay. I mean, that will in happen. A haunted wood. We're thinking about practicing some AOS next Tuesday, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Are you? Yeah. Mm. Right. Um, and I've got one super chat as well. Dave B. Uh, in fact, I'll, I'll save that one for Joe's turn. How many members are we on? Uh, we are on 79. Uh, so it's my turn now, is it? No, I've still, I haven't, no. No, this is my turn four. I'm going to shoot you now. Okay. I'm going to take this off. Okay. All right. Yeah. I'm going to plasma pistol. I'm going to take, take this off, because he's only got two wounds left. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to plasma pistol over there into the Shadow Sears unit. <gasps> hit. Minus one to hit, because stealth. I missed. <coughs> okay. I'm like, mist in your face. Whoosh. Pocket and then hand. I'm going to charge you with my tank. Yeah. Like that. I fight first with my tank. <laughs> oh. I have three attacks with a rhino. You're going to tank shock? I haven't got CP. Oh. That's what I was going to do, but I spent my CP to keep my berserkers alive. Oh. Okay. Mm. So rhino has got three attacks, hit you on fours. Sixes, explode. I hit you twice. Ooh. I am strength six, your toughness Eldrad, so threes. There's a chance! You're telling me there's a chance, chat! I have... What's the AP? Nothing. Why don't you have a three up, three up save? Because you have a four up invulnerable save. Oh, fucking Eldred. Thank God. There wasn't a chance! The tank nearly did it. Right, <laughs> my Harlequin's unit. Oh, I'm not in combat. There's a problem. Yeah, they are. Well, they're, no, they're not, actually, are they? They're not. So... Eldred. Eldred. <gasps> Twos! <laughs> Come on, Eldred. Fuck's sake, Eldred. Fucking hell, Eldred. Right, okay. Followed by twos. Twos. Two. How much CB have I got? One. This is on the Berserkers, by the way. Of course. Obviously. Right. Minus, Minus one. one. Fours. Two damage? Two damage. Sixes. I'm he gonna, killed a guy. You have to kill this guy because, yeah. Uh, and then we'll we'll swing back at you. Oh, hit you three times. Come on, Eldred. Oh. Wounded you three times. Oh no. Minus one. Take a wound. Down to one left. You're okay, Jay. Ooh. No fake dice will help you here. I've got one CP, so there's a chance. One CP, Jay? One, one CP? CP. Come on, Eldred. You can do it. Don't be a loser. I believe in you. Yeah! Eldred. He liveth, which means you're going to hold the... No, I hold two you. objectives. No, it's just four, four still. Within three. Why have you got to be a massive douche? <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay, that uh, is the end of my turn. Mm. Uh, I didn't successfully secure No Man's Land, and I didn't deploy Teleport Homer. No. I'd like to keep both of them, please. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, in my turn, I score eight points on the primary. A uh, six. I thought your home was eight, wasn't it? Six. Oh. Well, that's a bit shit, isn't it? <laughs> what cards? What cards, please? You sound so broken, Jack. Come on, this has got to be worth the 21 gifted. The uh, it, thing is, there, it's only trash left now. It's got to be worth the 21 gifted did, to get us over the target. Did you keep cleanse? You did. Or didn't? I kept it, but, yeah. You scored, did you score it in the I didn't score it, no. Oh. So, the one you get... Is ca capture any of oh, That's good, it's oh, eight I've points. Got, I've got that. Right. Uh, I mean, it's not going to save me because Liam scores six. He scores 11 on primary anyway. You going to keep it? I have to. Yeah, you do. I can't not. 
Um, I mean, we can we can get through this pretty quickly now. Uh, yeah. So let's just. So he gets murdered. You start the action. He gets murdered. Yeah. Well, he just will. Yeah. Right. No matter what. And then we'll you get, get cleanse on one objective. Yeah. And then... uh, you can also cleanse that objective now. Yeah. Because you've still got cleanse. And that's you maxed, mate. Pretty, pretty much. <clears throat> cool. And then, and then in your turn, you score 11 plus... So these guys, so what I need at the start of the battle round... At the end of my turn, I get cleanse for... Oh, oh one second. Five, yep. I think, or is it six? Four, two per objective. And Do I then, get more for your home objective? No, and then capture, I don't think so, they capture for eight. Eight, yeah. And your primary was? Uh, six. Six. Okay. So 45. This would have been the start of the battle round. Yeah. It would have made no difference what's happened so far, but no. what I really want in here is double sixes. Why? So I get advance and charge. Oh. Right? That's important for this unit over here. Yeah. Because I have a single CP stratagem for six inch auto advance. But what does it mean in points wise? So I get a 12 inch move yeah. to here, which gets me basically to where this tank is. Mm. And the intent, obviously, is going to be to charge on the objective and take it off you, okay? Oh. Right? So if I can get a, I don't know, if I can get a six inch charge, I can jump in there and take that objective from you, right? Because yeah. Berserkers are worth two each, right? Roll two dice. So do we get a six inch charge arena, okay? Oh, and the Terminator is deploying his Alabama. We you do. do, we get seven. So, so yeah, so you, but you so get So they run in here. They murder right? everyone. They don't even care yeah, about there's murdering. No there's no point in rolling the dice. There's no point in rolling dice. They run in there, right? And then, yeah. that means, Mr. The Kyle, at the end of my turn, because I score at the end of the turn, mm. I get deploy teleport homers for five. Secure no man's land for five. Yeah. And primary-wise, I get both the centre objectives so for 10. 16. And Jones for six, so I get 16 on the primary. Mm. Which is a big old swing It is. In the I right mean, side. I was never going to catch up with you. No. Um, that, that second turn of mine, where I obliterated basically half your army, yeah. and I, that, so, so um, Harlequins used to have minus one to hit basically across the board minus for all their vehicles, yeah. and all the infantry were minus one to hit in combat, yeah. and they had that four up and vulnerable save. Yeah. Plus when you hit them in combat, they used to have full back and charge, yeah. full back and shoot. Yeah. So you could you could rush them. You weren't minus one to hit because they were super fast because they're Harlequins. And if you didn't kill them, they were like, cool, I can step out and I come back in and I have priority yeah. because I've and charged And if you had a shadow you. scene nearby, they were minus one to wound. Yes, minus one to wound. Yeah. You had a shadow so scene they nearby. were, they were, they were, they weren't durable. No. But if you if you played them right as a tech army, you could keep them alive and you could yeah. utilize some of that stuff but to keep them alive. It's mad that when you think you charge a troop master who should be damaged too. He absolutely should be damaged. He should 100%. be. Even if he's got four or five attacks, he still should be damaged too. Um, right, we've got a troop master and five troops into a, into a unit of three eight bound, which in the last version of the rules, they would have murdered a six man squad without even thinking. Well, there was thinking. There were certain troop master builds with relics and warlord yeah. traits, which would have fucking straight clapped most well, of they, they would have killed six, right? They killed. One. <laughs> they killed. They killed one it, eight bound. It does make. It does. It does give me some hope. It makes me less concerned about running Harlequins and being that guy because yeah. they're a bit shit. They are. I think they're a high skill army. I think versus World Eaters, obviously, it's a bit more skewed because like they have to fight over objectives, um, and because there's only two objectives, I can't. Like you can't have two, and then I basically hold one and fight you off another one to score points. So the middle objective not being there is obviously it's a narrative game, and we're fighting over the breaches. So it's not a it's not a major problem, but like. But you basically held that breach till the end there as well. Narrative oh yeah, speaking. like the, like across the board, everything is minus one in this. And arm. my hangar's been emptied out. Yeah, I didn't get there till the last turn though. Two turns. You got two turns of scoring yeah. six on it. So. But, um, but uh, one of the big things over here obviously was running Eldron off quite early. Yeah, because I had to. For him to get any benefits. Because those Terminators were like, cool, we'll, we'll yeah. take the 18 points I, on your home objective. I think it might be worthwhile, like you said, putting Wave Serpents in the army. There's a few things I think Harlequins could benefit from now. Wave Serpents is certainly one of them. 
Um, you could, you can, because the way the, the rules work now, you can put an avatar in Harlequins. Yeah. Um, and I think an avatar in Harlequins is kind of narrative too. And he gives them all um, plus one charge, plus yeah. one charge. Uh, also, I think another way that you could potentially make them work is in Unari, mm. you know, with the, with the death gods, the Incarn and stuff yeah. like that. Um, and if it's Unari, you can start bringing in certain um, Dark Elves, like, it's like witches yeah. and stuff as well, which kind of fit the theme. So I think there's ways in which you can make a quote unquote Harlequin army work. Yeah. But I think it kind of doesn't become pure Harlequins anymore, no. which kind of harks back to how they used to be pre sort of eight. Yeah, ships. there was a there was a time when when you ran Harlequins, you had one Shadow Seer, one Death Jester, the Solitaire, and then you just had Harlequin troops. But here's and it, you had like one troop. So I'm a, I'm a narrative Eldar yeah. guy on the whole. Here's what I would like to have seen with Harlequins, and I'm not going to do this now because too many people have too big a collection. But what I would have liked to have seen with Harlequins is that. I would have liked to have seen all of the units be units that you take as a single unit. Yeah. And if you if your Harlequin troop charges people, they're terrifyingly good. Yeah. But you only get one of them. Mm. Like that's that's where I really wanted Harlequins to be. Yeah. So when we then went to the point of it's a whole army and you could take I mean, what was it? You could take sixty players at one point. Yeah. I don't feel the girl. I not, think you know. I think like it's a weird one because like having a unit be your warlord. In the game now means nothing. Means nothing. It makes me really sad. So, given the troop master that if this unit is your warlord, Harlequins become troops. What would you? Line? What would you do? I mean, that's cool. Yeah. But what else would you do to make a warlord worth taking? I think for Harlequins, I think the players should be the players how they are now. Like they're a bit. I think they need the fall back and charge, but they're fine. I think the characters should be. Do you, really? no, I'm just meaning in general, though, for Warlords. Do you yeah. think the game misses a Warlord trait? The game misses a Warlord trait. I know Enhancements are still a uh, But that's thing. not a Warlord trait. No. It's I a think Enhancements is the fancy word for Relic. They used to have three Warlord traits, three generic Warlord traits, didn't they? Yeah. Um, I feel like that's gone. I think like, if you, you have a Warlord, that's where your plus one CP comes from. Or... For armies that like, because the, the biggest issue at the moment is the characters that generate an additional CP are not equal. No, correct. In this life. So in Tyranids, you have to take the Swarm Lord to get plus one, an additional CP. If you're Guard, you take Lord Solar, right, who's a name special character. If you're Space Marines, you have to take Kalga or, um, uh, is, no, the, the, one of the Dark Angels guys. Azrael. Azrael, right. And that's it. Um, and then all other armies either don't have anything whatsoever. Um, like Elder, just take an Autark, an unnamed character you can take three of. Yeah, I just... Uh, where I kind of feel like like there needs... That just means if your character, if your Warlord is on the table, then you just get that. So that's kind of how Sigmar works, yeah. to a point, right? And that's, I don't disagree, because I was thinking about this, I was talking about this with someone the other day, and I was like, well, there's a couple of things we could do. You could look at the abilities for characters. Every character's got an ability now, yeah. which means that no single character fills all that special because every character's got an ability. So maybe they could have gone down the route of, here's your ability, and if this model's your warlord, you also get this. Yeah. But that adds a layer of complexity, and they're trying to improve the accessibility. Not that I think they've done a good job in 10th edition. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think you're probably right. Yeah. The characters that say you get a CP for having this model, get rid of them. Yeah. Like, if you really, really, really want to be that good, like Azrael, then then yeah. he gets two or, CP, right? Or Kalga gets two CP because they're a super named or, Space Marine or character. Or you bring in old school as a win, like a so you got you got primary, secondary, tertiary, and tertiary is worth I don't know five points each. First blood, say the warlord, line breaker. Oh, don't you talking? Right? Talking dirty to me now, Jay. So if you make those <laughs> oh, worth three points each, five points each, then having a warlord now means something because he's worth points to your opponent. So if you're losing by like, oh. if you're losing by like three points, you go, like I don't care what my secondaries are. If I kill his warlord, I get five points. But this is something I, I spoke to you about being really sad about the day. So there's a couple of reasons at the moment, chat, why I'm really enjoying running World Eaters and Dark Angels. Mm. One of the biggest reasons as to why I'm running World Eaters and Dark Angels is it's the closest I'm currently feeling to a form of a hero hammer. Mm. What do I mean by that? Well, Khan, although he folds like a wet paper towel nowadays, when he charges into things, feels pretty good. Master Executions with the Berserker Glaive feels pretty good. A Demon Prince on foot feels pretty good. Lord Invocatus feels pretty good. Yeah. Angron 
feels pretty good, right? So on the whole, I'm like, I've got some cool characters to play with. Go to, go to Dark Angels. Azrael, even without the Stern Guard, feel pretty good, or any of the unit that he's with. You yeah. know, he's, pretty, he's pretty tasty. The Lion is pretty tasty. Um, you take a couple of the characters in the Terminator units, they feel pretty tasty. Yeah. So on the whole, I feel a little bit more like I'm getting Hero Hammer. Hero Hammer's what I really miss. Yeah. I kind of miss the, de the days of, here is my... Like I, we, I was talking to a good friend of mine about this recently. He used to run Iron's Hands, and he used to run Technum with a Gorgon's Chain, had a two-up armor save and a fucking four-up yeah. invulnerable and a five-up Furno Pain. Couldn't kill the bastard. He was incredibly durable. He was a right old tank, like an Iron Hands Technum probably should yeah. be. We, we just kind of don't have that anymore. No. And I get, I get sad that the, the captain of the World Eaters, the first captain of the World Eaters, Khan, is a three-up armor save, four-up invulnerable save, five-wound space ring with four of toughness four. Yeah. Like, he, like Elb spat at him today and he fell down. Yeah. It makes well, me sad. It's like Abaddon, if you fight something, will flat murder it. But if he charges something that's got to fight first, they go, cool, you're dead. Which, thanks, the thanks thing for that, coming. The thing that really gets me about this whole, like, and I'm kind of like, okay, so Khan falls over as fast as Abaddon, who arguably falls over as fast as Azrael. Yeah. Okay, cool. But this is the addition that they told us was less lethal. Yeah. And these big heroes, these big named heroes, are yeah. just flat well, getting when you murdered. Think Abaddon is the same points as the lion, and the lion has a three up invulnerable save, a two up armor save, he's toughness nine. nine. With t 11 wounds, um, and he's got to feel no pain versus mortal wounds and dev. Right? And he's the same point. He doesn't get to feel no pain versus dev, just mauls. Just, yeah, get, if he, he picks that ability. Yeah. But and it's like, that's mental. Because he is a hero. And it's like, you get that from a Primarch, but why are things of the same points? Not of equal value. But even, even the lion himself, right? The lion himself, who used to have a minus one to wound permanently as well, they went, nah, you don't want that anymore. No. But, but then, he, but this less lethal addition, he's too tough. But then you've got Catan, who are less points oh, than the Lion. Don't. Who are, who have got like 12 wounds, half damage, five, four up in one, five up, feel no pain. And I was like, or that, what is this? Fucking thing that Brom, like Moz, Mozrog or whatever he's yeah. called, with his four up, feel no pain and 20 million wounds. Yeah. Oh. If it's like, if, thing is though, if you've got a character like that in all, I feel like, like in AOS, like every AOS army is a big thing, a yeah, big yeah, yeah. boss thing. It's really good. All forty k armies should have a fucking super cool character. Yes, I think they right. should. So the Eldar could have the Avatar. Yeah. Dark Angels have the Lion. Yeah. Um, Black, uh, Chaos Space Marines have Abaddon. Yeah. yeah, I think you're probably right. Yeah, I think, like uh, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so I think I think like the game is missing a badass in each army. Yeah, possibly. Uh, that being said, because that sounded a bit moany, that being said, I had fun tonight because Worldy has actually got to murder something. More importantly yeah. for me specifically, Berserk has got to murder something because I'm so used to Berserkers basically going, <sighs> and that's it, and then yeah. you're still there. Um, so that was really good. Uh, I'm still having, I, I have said this a few times on streams recently as well, actually, and I'll be straight up about this chat. I'm, I'm honest and I'm open about this. I think 10th edition for me is the worst of the last three or four editions. In my, in my personal opinion, and I'm not saying it's a bad edition, I just don't like it personally as much as I like other editions, but yet I'm having so much fun. Yeah. The attitude change in here, and the attitude change with the team, and the team that we have, is making this, I think, one of the worst editions, but yet I'm having the most fun, which is kind of contradictory. Yeah. I'm having loads of fun with this right now. I am enjoying myself. I've talked. We talk about the things we don't like and the things we would change, but I'm still able to really enjoy myself and kind of chill at the table and have fun and not really yeah. think about it too much. And that's because I've come away from sort of tournament play and competitive play. So I'm having loads of fun. I hope you guys have enjoyed it with us. If you have, make sure you smash that like button. Don't worry, Carl, I see you. I know what you're going to do. You're going to talk to me about the 84 gifted memberships. Toby Winnick, thank you for the one gifted membership. Mordy Hammer, thank you for the one. Christopher Sanford, thank you for the five. And Dave B, thank you for the super chat. And he says, which faction do you like to play against and why? Which faction do I like to play against? Yep. Oh, that's a hard one. How about you? Have you got an easy answer to this one? <laughs> what do you like to play against? What do I like to play what do you against? Find, not, not one that you can push the poo in like, really quickly. What one do you find the most exciting, most enjoyable? Um, I've had fun versus like, like, if you're like Marines on Marines, it's quite balanced in the sense that like, it could boring. be a bit more fun. Mm. Uh, but I think like fighting against, I like fighting against Nids. I like playing with Nids 
And also fighting, against fighting against Nids is definitely up there. Yeah, because Nids, like, it doesn't matter what army you're playing with. Fighting against bugs is always narrative. Yeah. Like, why are we and, here? Fight aliens. And they, they come rules, to eat us all. Yeah. I actually kind of think their rules are in a really okay place. What I, I would, mean by that is they're not I incredibly powerful. I would argue that... I think I'll die on this hill, actually. Currently, right now, in the current state of the game, Tyranids are the most balanced army. Yeah, I'd go as... Well, I wouldn't argue that, actually. I think that's pretty close to accurate yeah. on the whole. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm not against that at all. Because if, if you play them right, they can be... Well, yeah, they can yeah. just be... They can, they can be really powerful or but they can be really average. As long no. as you just kind of take your time mm. and play your cards right. Just I'm a big like fan those. of playing against Guard. Mostly because most guard players that I play against just love the fucking guard. Yeah. And they don't, you know, it's not about taking... It, there, was, there was a brief period of time, especially in the last edition, where it became about metagaming with guard, which was a bit shit. Uh, but on the whole, mm -hmm. like I played like three or four times, I played against Mike Costello from VT with his Talon Desert Raider guard that he converted up. And he just fucking loves guard. Yeah. And he smashed me every time, but he just loves guard. Yeah. And it was like a really just enjoyable experience. It's almost like orc players, but without having to face a million models mm. that aren't painted properly and just get chucked in a biscuit tin when you kill them. Yeah. That so, hurts me. Yeah, guard. I think guard is probably one of my favourites to play against, which sounds like a really boring answer because it is guard, but I think yeah. it's more the player than the I army. I think a balanced guard army. Because yeah. I, like, at Beachhead, I played against two Rogal Dawns and a Shadow Sword. When I saw this, I was like, this is a great army. <laughs> I love this, right? <laughs> But it was the single most infuriating game of my life. Because <laughs> <laughs> Rogel Dawn still fucking die. Yeah. It's like, minus one damage. Wee! I was like, oh, I was like, Melter. I was like, yes, eight damage. He's like, zero damage. I'm like, great. I'm going to murder you now. <laughs> and I murdered him. Uh, White55, thank you for the five gifted. That leaves us on 91. Oh, oh so oh, close. No. So close. So close. I'm sorry, Kyle, you don't bring the numbers. No, no. I, did, I did bring a, a poll in, though. Would you like to know what it is? Oh, I bet you did. Um, <laughs> what excites you the most for the channel? As in, this is all full of the chat, and like to see what kind of content like, they're most excited to see. Yeah. Okay. So, at the bottom, we have the Horus Heresy with 6%. Not at all surprised. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. AOS with 9 oh. oh. The Old World with 13 Okay. Oh. And 40k with 72. Uh, well, I mean, that... Nice. Yeah. I mean, I did. We're going out to a 40k audience. I, a 40K I did put in there like 40k is going nowhere. This is just yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so more 40k has still got to be the priority for us. Yeah, which is good. Yeah. Okay. Six percent for Horus Heresy. I thought it would be a little bit higher than that. No, I didn't. I'm the, the problem with Horus Heresy is it's boring. It's just boring. No. In, in the thing, the problem is though. Alex, what do you think of the gift of membership? Eight, eight to go. Core okay. wants it. Because <laughs> heresy can be a great narrative. Like if we played this game with this table layout, with right? heresy rules, with heresy rules, with heresy models, you're like, cool, it's narrative one. You got iron warriors attacking imperial fists in a building, or you've got world eaters attacking ultramarines in a fort. Like it'll be super narrative, and you can have a pri and two primarchs will fight in the breach with their elite special forces, and you can have a great time. <laughs> you can be super excited and hyped about it. But unless but it's, it's just space, Bogo Space Marines so, versus Bogo Space. Are you, the people playing have to inject. It's not That's even. I, so I'm, I was going to say something then, which everyone will expect me to say. Horus Heresy is boring because it's Space Marines versus Space Marines. But I'm going to elaborate slightly because rather than me just hating on Space Marines, I don't hate on Space Marines. My favourite armies right now are World Eaters and Dark Angels, for Christ's sake. Yeah. They're all Marines, right? This is why. What is. So I don't know if you guys understand AP in Heresy, okay? Very, very quick lesson in AP. The number, depending on the number of the AP, depends on the save that it would ignore. So if you're AP5, it ignores the 5-up save. AP3, ignores the 3-up save. Basically yeah. how it works, right? AP2 also ignores the 3-up yeah. save. If you're AP5 and you're targeting 4-plus armour, you just get your flat 4-plus armour. It's not like 40k where it's a modifier. This is just a quick lesson for those of you who didn't play 7th and don't play Heresy, right? So, cool. The majority, the majority of heresy, not all of it, because people go, there's Mechanicum and there's Solar Auxilia. Yes, of course, and there's Demons. Yeah, I know there is other armies, but the majority of heresy is the Space Marine Legions. Yeah. What's the AP of a bolt gun? Joe. Five. AP five. Yeah. What's the armor of a Space Marine? Joe. Three. But, Three plus. Right. In the game's defense, right, until Istavan, bolt guns were not designed to kill Space Marines. No, granted. It wasn't until they invented Kraken Rounds, which are AP3, designed to specially kill um, Space Marines by the traitors. But so, I, so I don't disagree that it's narratively correct, yeah. but it kind of makes for a bit of a wet sponge on wet sponge experience. You can't just run a full army of Seeker Marines, which I mean, are basically Stern Guard. 
And they're AP3. Kyle looked a little bit like he celebrated over in the corner. So, White55, thank you for 10 gifted memberships. And Sir Galahad Grail Hunter, thank you for five gifted memberships. I put us at 107%. Cool, perfect. And um, well, I won't ask you something. That's, that's important. Let me invite me in the Fold Your Model now. Although, no. Lucy's in chat and she is like, when will, when will you guys stop talking? We're I mean, never. literally never. We're talking, never. We're talking shop. It's literally like, never, Luce. It's like our job, and, it and the channel's built on it, Luce. Yeah. Right. yeah. Do you like that roof over your head? Yeah. <laughs> no, I need to keep talking I about know, We still, don't get to get together very often, okay? You can still have a roof over a head. It'll just be a shed. Or yeah. a cardboard box. Made of newspaper. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Anyhow, thank you so much for hitting that target. You beautiful, wonderful human beings. You are amazing. If you like video games and you want something on in the background tomorrow whilst you work, exclamation mark Vag in the chat. Joe and I will be going live at 10 a.m. Sometime normally around 11, half 11, when he bothers to get his fucking lazy ass out of bed. Mr. The War Hipster might join oh, us. Absolutely. And we're going to be playing some, um, some Warzone tomorrow. Come and hang out with us for that. Five hours tomorrow of playing Warzone. Really looking forward to it. It's good fun. It's just nice and chill. Um, that channel makes a couple of pounds as well. 200 gifted memberships on that one. Uh, and then tomorrow night at 9 o'clock, if you just were here for 40k content, we have the 40k show. We'll talk about something tomorrow. I don't know yet what. I normally farm the Thanes during the daytime for a topic of some sort tomorrow. Mm. But we'll talk about something 40k based tomorrow. Uh, then on Thursday, we come back live at 1.30 from this room here with the Liam and Joe show. Mm. Friday, oh, sorry, Thursday night, sorry, is another live game of 40k. Joe and Brom and Kyle, I'm letting the kids play on Thursday because I have to get up early on Friday. Yeah. Friday night, is 40k after dark. The weekend, there'll be much more Twitch. Exclamation mark Twitch if you want that. And then next week is back to normal. A week on Monday for members only, Skull Tier and above, will be launching the first ever pre recorded podcast talk show thing from this studio. Fear not if you're not a member, if you can't afford to be a member or you don't want to be a member because you don't think Joe's worth it. Uh, five days afterwards, really that will go live to general public. Get looking forward to that mm. stuff. Mm. Right, beautiful. Mm. You guys are incredible. Thank you for hanging out with us tonight. If you haven't already smashed that like button, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm really shiny.